Welcome, welcome everyone on this warm. Woo! For those of you just arriving, I'm Ed Hundert. And whether you are here under the warm tent or you are watching from one of our air conditioned rooms right next door, which we encourage you to go back and forth to if you're feeling too warm, um, or you're on live stream somewhere anywhere in the world, I am delighted to welcome you to the 2022 Harvard Medical School and Harvard School of Dental Medicine White Coat Ceremony. I'd like to thank, uh, start by thanking Cheryl O'Brien in particular and everyone in the offices of student affairs of both the medical and dental schools for the or, just organizing this huge large team of people it takes um, to make today's events possible. Um, everyone from the tech crews, all these AV folks, the people who organize our facilities, the tent, everything else, our custodial staff who keep the place looking so great, everyone else who put this together. A round of applause for all the people who make it possible. <clears throat> this is a very, very special day in the lives of our students and in the lives of their families and their loved ones. And, teachers and mentors, people who raised them and taught them and coached them and supported them to the, get to this day. Um, I could tell you it's a very special day for all of us who have the privilege now of teaching them and supporting them and indeed learning from them over the years ahead. I'd like to just say a few very brief words about this ceremony to open it up. The white coats that the students um, have been given are a gift from the Escalapian Club. The Escalapian Club is a sort of cheerleading group of medical and dental alumni who support student faculty social events and every member of the class is invited to join. So a big shout out to the Escalapian Club for their generous support of the white coats. Otherwise we couldn't have a white coat ceremony. The white coat is a symbol of professional identity. But we like to say that although you get your white coat here in the first week of medical or dental school, we all have to earn our white coats every single day. We call this first week introduction to the profession. And you know, there are a lot of ways that people talk about what someone does in their work life. So it's interesting to think about uh, where these words come from. People talk about your occupation, right? Your occupation comes from a Latin root occupare, which literally means how you occupy, how you fill your time. And Lord knows, medicine will fill your time. But people talk about a career. A career comes from carara or caras. It's like the word chariot or careen. It's this forward motion, this idea that you keep moving forward. And I could tell you that in medical and dental school, it's unbelievable how much forward motion. You think about the students one year ahead of you, they know so much. Like, how is that possible? One year from now, that's going to be you, right? They look up to the intern when you're a student. Like, that's going to be you one year later. So that forward motion, that carara, that careening is a big part of it. So it is a career. And of course, people talk about a vocation, which comes from vocara, which is a calling, a calling to something higher, a calling to um, uh, service. And we really believe that every one of you feels that you've been called to service. But today, we're talking about a profession. And the word profession comes from professus, which is the past participle of profatiri, which means to avow before, to swear a sacred oath. And so for centuries, doctors have traditionally taken a sacred oath at graduation. But the truth is, in medical and dental education, you're already starting to care for patients as a student. So graduation is like way too late, years too late, to be taking an oath to become a professional. So one of the unique things about health professions education is you actually join us as colleagues in the profession this week um, as students. So very often students you know, get to know the patient better than anyone else on the clinical team. Even though you're so busy, you actually have more time than a lot of other people. And I always have to tell you, I love hearing stories, which I hear every year, of some very famous Harvard professor who has recommended for the patient some particular medical treatment or surgical operation, and the patient tells them, you know, before we finalize this, I just want to run this by the one other person to make sure they agree with this treatment plan. And that turns out to be the medical student on their team, 
right, who they've come to view as the most trusted caregiver um, involved in their care. So this ceremony will conclude with the students reciting a class oath, but not just any class oath. This is an oath that was composed this week by this class, the new students who wrote this as part of their introduction to the profession course for this ceremony. The oath that they have written, which I was really poring over last night, it is truly inspiring. It's inspiring because it is uniquely built on the image of walking together. You'll hear this in their oath a lot, walking together. Walking together in partnership with patients to whom they pledge to be passionate stewards of care, seeing their patients for who they are beyond their diagnosis and pledging to maintain their sense of wonder and joy and curiosity as they carry themselves with humility, forgiveness, and love. Beautiful words. Walking together with one another as professional colleagues who will support and uplift one another while holding one another accountable to the tenets of honesty and integrity in the practice of medicine. Walking together to improve the broken systems of care, addressing systems of oppression that affect patients both here in the US and around the world, recognizing the value of diversity and respect for all cultures as they pledge to leave this world better than they found it today. So in sum, your oath, the beautiful, magnificent oath you've written, is a pledge to walk together hand in hand to achieve nothing less than the mission of this medical school, which is to alleviate human suffering and improve health and well-being for all. And all is the key word right there. So thank you all for being here today. I wanna to congratulate and welcome every student who is part of this ceremony and all the family members and the friends and the coaches and teachers and others who helped support our students and made you the wonderful human beings that you are. And I wanna thank you for dedicating yourself to this highest calling of caring for others in need. It is our honor to have you as our students and also now as our colleagues in this noble profession of medicine. Give yourselves a hand. And now it is my great honor to introduce the Dean of Harvard Medical School, Dean George Daly. Dean Daly is the Carolyn Shields Walker Professor of Medicine. He is a physician scientist and an authority on stem cell science and cancer biology. His, discoverers have twi his discoveries have twice been cited in Science Magazine's top 10 breakthroughs of the year. He's co-authored the International Guidelines for the Conduct and Clinical Translation of Stem Cell Research and regenerative medicine for the oversight of ethical uh, um, uh, development of emerging biotechnologies. Dean Daly's priorities as dean of our school include fostering innovative biomedical, computational, and healthcare policy research, building a pipeline of novel therapeutics for the next generation of physician scientists, and advancing diversity in medicine, technology, engineering, and the life sciences. Dean Daly earned his bachelor's and MD from Harvard and a PhD in biology from MIT. He's worked as a trainee, fellow, staff physician at several of our affiliated hospitals. And I would just add that he is a passionate advocate for medical student education and dental student education here. And he is truly a moral compass for all of us on the faculty. We revere him and it's my joy to introduce George Daly. I'll have to figure out what that laugh was about, but it <laughs> may have to do with something with hugging in the era of COVID. I, Ed, thank you very, very much. Um, I just have to start by apologizing for the heat. Um, it's one of the many things around here I have no control over. Um, <laughs> but I do also find it a bit incongruous that we are celebrating a day about coats on one of the hottest days of the year. So can I just say, we're gonna redub this the transient white coat ceremony, so. But seriously, it is uh, an absolutely delightful day. 
Uh, and I am, um, I'm heartwarmed to see all of you here, the family and loved ones, uh, to join with us to celebrate this extraordinary day. Uh, this is a very, very important moment for the newest members of Harvard Medical School and the Harvard School of Dental Medicine. This is a phenomenal beginning. Now first, let me just congratulate you. I mean, you have made it. You've made it to Harvard Medical School. You've made it to the Harvard School of Dental Medicine. That in and of itself is an extraordinary accomplishment. I'm sure you all toiled long and hard to get here. But recently, I mean, you've weathered a global health crisis while applying to medical and dental school. You've realized what I am sure for all of you has been a very long sought dream. It's really the beginning of your journey to becoming a doctor. Now here at Harvard, you're gonna form lasting friendships. You're gonna absorb the latest trends in biomedical science. You're gonna provide compassionate care for your patients and you will engage in collaborative and cutting edge research but through all of that, you are going to find many of your assumptions being challenged, and that's healthy. Above all, you are going to use your extraordinary talents to live by the covenant of service. Now, it's axiomatic. COVID-19 has fundamentally changed the world. We've always known, but now we see even more clearly that our work as healers is imperative to our collective future that intellectually sound and compassionate ways to safeguard and promote the health of humanity are more important now than ever. The pandemic has taught us that despite a deluge of misinformation, the vast majority of people in this country still put their trust in medicine because lives depend on it. Now indeed, as doctors, we have a tremendous responsibility to be unwavering ambassadors for truth, for knowledge, for peace, for equity. I know that you are all here because you embrace these sentiments. Now, throughout the pandemic, we have witnessed selfless dedication across Harvard Medical School, in our laboratories, in our classrooms, in the clinics at our affiliated hospitals. COVID-19 mobilized our community like never before. Now to this day, dozens of Harvard Medical School faculty continue their critical work on COVID as part of the Massachusetts Consortium on Pathogen Readiness, Mass CPR. We convened Mass CPR here at HMS to address both the immediate but also long-term consequences of this pandemic and future ones. Researchers involved in this effort come from all of the Massachusetts medical schools, all of the affiliated hospitals and research institutions, as well as MIT and a number of local biopharma companies. Now, since its inception, MassCPR has grown to a community of over 800 researchers, 15 partner institutions, and between March of 2020 and June of this year, 2022, the 70 investigators funded by MassCPR have published more than 500 of the most impactful research articles on all aspects of SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19 disease. Now, here's just one example. Last summer, mass CPR researchers found unusual levels of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein in the blood of children with multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Now that's an extremely rare, but very serious post uh, COVID-19 complication. Now earlier this summer, those same researchers reported that this same biomarker may also be relevant in diagnosing and monitoring the treatment of long COVID, a very, very important observation. Now, beyond advancing knowledge, mass CPR investigators played major roles in the development of two of the major vaccines, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson, and are continuing earnest efforts at developing drugs and antibodies, which are remaining critical to fighting the current pandemic and certainly are going to be important for future infectious disease threats. Now, mass CPR has also sparked a dialogue about how best 
to combat other persistent health challenges. So I just think about it, and I, and I, and I put this before you as a challenge. If the selfless collaborative energy that we've rallied through mass CPR during the pandemic could be applied to other areas, other challenges, cancer, mental health, climate change, well, perhaps we might actually see a world transformed. That is your challenge. Now, arriving here at Harvard Medical School in the midst of all this innovation is an exciting, and I hope for many of you, an inspiring way to begin your medical education. You arrive here with so much knowledge and passion for learning, but there is so much more for you to learn. And you will indeed be instrumental in determining the breadth of these learning experiences. Now already, last year's incoming students have been doing extraordinary things. They've been working on all branches of the HMS mission, research, education, service. Now for example, last year's students have already authored commentaries in the New England Journal of Medicine and The Lancet. They've conducted research on mental health and substance uh, use among adults. They have advocated for the healthcare sector's role in supporting health equity for sexual and gender minorities. So no pressure on you. <laughs> I'm saying this because I hope that you take inspiration from these students, your fellow students, from others who've preceded you at Harvard Medical School. Now, as you walk these halls, you're gonna see the faces of medical trailblaz trailblazers throughout the school. People like neonatologist Mary Ellen Avery, who has saved the lives of countless premature babies when she discovered the cause of respiratory distress syndrome. Or Harvey Cushing, who was first to describe hypercortisolism, now known as Cushing's disease, and who introduced the measurement of blood pressure in the practice of anesthesia. You will also see portraits of William Augustus Hinton, after whom one of the societies is named. He was a groundbreaking bacteriologist born to former slaves. Hinton was the first African American to be promoted to the rank of Harvard professor, not just at Harvard Medical School, but across all of Harvard University. And don't forget you so Margaret Lee, a surgical oncologist who has participated in over 50 international medical missions treating both U.S. soldiers and Iraqi prisoners of war. Now, both Hinton's and Lee's portraits, among many others, are the result of HMS's long-term concerted effort to make sure that the artwork on this campus is representative and inclusive of our entire community. Let the work of these scientific luminaries inspire you. Their lives and achievements inspire me every day. Now, I also want to share with you that when I arrived here as a medical student, received my white coat <clears throat> 44 years ago, uh, I had a similar feeling of excitement but there was also that touch of uncertainty. I questioned whether I'd had enough preparation. My classmates, they seemed so brilliant, so ambitious, so talented. I wondered if I had been the proverbial admissions mistake. I'm still wondering. <laughs> but let me tell you this, all of us, all of the storied individuals in the history of Harvard Medical School, those who've revolutionized medicine, they arrived with doubts as well, and they had doubts along the way. Doubt is a healthy sign of humility. It's a really important asset for any doctor. Now, despite such qualms, I know that each of you has the same drive, the same desire, the same dedication as your forebears and you have the skills and the talents to, to follow in their footsteps and to achieve. The work before you will be demanding, no doubt, but I promise you it will also be extraordinarily rewarding, and it will take you along many different individual paths. Now, one of the portraits that hangs in the Medical Education Center honors Dr. Alvin Poussant, who traveled 
along a path from Selma to Montgomery with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr providing medical care to those who were marching for civil rights. Dr. Poussin was a key leader in the movement to desegregate the nation's hospitals using the power of the Civil Rights Act. He was also an influential advocate for diversity and inclusion throughout the 50 years of service he gave to this school. He made it his mission to ensure that every member of this community felt welcome at Harvard Medical School, and it is a commitment we hold we uphold every day for each and every one of you. So wherever you come from, I hope you take the message to heart. You belong here, and we are honored to have you here. Our community is enriched by you, and it means so much to us that you've chosen to bring your talents and your dreams to us, and we can't wait to see what you are going to achieve. So on behalf of the entire Harvard Medical School faculty, our trainees, our staff, fellow students, alumni, I welcome you all to this very, very proud beginning. Congratulations. Let me turn it back to Ed. Thank you so much, George. I'd now like to introduce to you the Dean of the Harvard School of Dental Medicine, Dr. Will Ginobili. Dean Ginobili is an educator and leader in the field of periodontology. He's an internationally recognized scholar in oral regenerative medicine and tissue engineering and precision medicine and dentistry. He's an alumnus of HSDM with an advanced degree in periodontology and oral biology. Um, and he completed his postdoctoral training in molecular biology right here at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Prior to becoming appointed Dean of HSDM in the fall of 2020, think about it. Come in here, become the Dean of the Dental School in the beginning, the midst of a global pandemic. He had previously served as the Najjar Endowed Professor and Chair of the Department of Periodontics and Oral Biology at the University of Michigan School of Dentistry. Since returning to HSDM as Dean, Will has embarked on a new strategic vision for our dental school with priorities focused on driving clinical innovation, in reinvigorating research and discovery, and increasing diversity and increasing vibrancy and uh, advancing oral health care access and <clears throat> delivery and policy. We are, it, it has just been a joy working with Will these last couple of years. He hit the ground running. He's a joy to be with, and it's a delight to welcome him to the podium right now. Will. Okay. What a nice surprise. Thank you guys. This is you can see this is a this is a great group here. But uh, so well, thank you so much uh, for coming together today. You know, and just like uh, Dean Daly, I, I apologize for this heat. Uh, actually, I've seen many families coming through the School of Dental Medicine today. And actually, each morning, I like to go through and walk through the clinics and see how people are doing. And it was quite hot today. And uh, I actually walked into some of the operatories, and I said hello to a patient and a family that was there with her. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry about this heat. How are you doing? And then the patient, uh, an older uh, woman, she said, you know what? I'm actually cold. I, I, I'm, I'm actually doing I'm doing fine. And I said, would you like a blanket? <laughs> and she said, no, I think I'm okay. But, uh, you know, this, you know, we're so delighted to uh, welcome all of our dental and medical students from the class of 2026 here with your special invited guests uh, to this ceremony. It's so nice to have everyone gathered here together on this occasion as we recognize this is such an accomplishment getting into medical or dental school doesn't just happen alone, but is made possible with the lifelong support and encouragement of loved ones, friends, and family that are here today. So it has been a pleasure to get to know many of these uh, members of the class of 2026. 
Uh, I've had the opportunity to meet all of these 35 new dental students, and they're an impressive bunch, and they're a fun bunch. Uh, we had a chance to listen to their fun facts, and they were off the charts. Uh, and uh, with these uh, you know, amazing backgrounds and accomplishments, you've already achieved so many things before arriving here to Boston. Demographically, this class hails from 18 different states in six different countries. It is composed of 60% female, 40% male, and coming from backgrounds, 25% of the class who are underrepresented in dentistry. Some of our students have already had the experience of working in research laboratories. Others have traveled the world as global health volunteers. Some have served as tutors and advisors to peers and high school students and others have shadowed clinicians in hospitals, clinical practices, or community health centers. And so when looking at the bios, a strong ethos of service to others emerges. You've come to the right place. So you arrive here during a challenging time in our nation and in our world. A global pandemic has had repercussions throughout our day-to-day -day lives and more broadly our healthcare system and economy. A war still rages in Ukraine, while impoverished countries face food shortages from lack of grain. Climate change, racial and gender inequity, and gun violence remain a constant threat to our safety, health, and well-being. And so against this backdrop, it can be daunting to think about how you can have an impact and make a difference. But you represent a promising new generation who will be the leaders and advocates for change. At HSDM, we've had the privilege of hosting a Ukrainian dental student, Katerina Kate Tarenko, who fled her native country when the war broke out. Despite these immense challenges, she is a resilient young woman who keeps learning and progressing towards her dental degree with the hope that she can soon return to her country and help rebuild it. She knows the need for her skills will be in high demand because so many fundamental health concerns of the population have been left untreated amidst the ravages of war. Kate is also interested in teaching the next generation of Ukrainian dental students as a clinician and instructor. So I hope that each one of you also find your purpose here at Harvard and to discover ways that you can make a difference in the world. The future of the profession, and quite frankly, the future of the world depends on you. Not, not too much pressure there. <laughs> While it is a challenging time, it's also an exciting period to be furthering your education and devoting yourself to the care of others. There are so many areas of innovation in dentistry that are just wide open to you. In oral health and medicine, we're just beginning to tap into the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning to diagnose disease and customize our novel therapies for precision dental care. We are now using regenerative medicine technologies to 3D print bone and soft tissue structures that can be seeded with human cells, biological factors, or genes that can rebuild lost structures in the oral cavity, including teeth, or tooth replacement dental implants. So at HSDM, we also have researchers embarking on the development of more equitable, equitable healthcare delivery models to better target preventive care or help prioritize treatments through risk stratification. So these approaches will benefit patients who are at higher propensity for dental infections, such as dental caries, periodontal diseases, or cancers of the head and neck. The opportunities for applying your emerging knowledge and budding enthusiasm are endless here at Harvard. So with the white coat uh, you, you wear today comes a great responsibility. As future doctors, patients will entrust you with their care. You'll take an oath that underscores the commitment to treating your patients with respect, kindness, fairness, and empathy. And throughout your academic journey, there are many things you'll learn outside of a classroom or a textbook. 
But one thing to always keep in mind is that it is a true honor and privilege to serve others. So on behalf of the HSDM community, we are committed to your success, and we look forward to following your achievements over these next four years, and encourage you to make the most of every moment here. I know you will do great things, and congratulations and best to you all. Well, the next part of our event is the white coat ceremony of the white coat ceremony. Now, I'm gonna give you some instructions. For all of the families, you should know we consider our students so sharp, attentive, so good at first time learning that we do not only this ceremony but graduation without any rehearsal. We give the instructions right here and we know that everyone will pay attention and get it right the first time. So here's what, and, and we are doing this differently than we've done it in previous years because of the heat. This is what we call the humanitarian protocol. Used to be, as people would come and get coated and get their coat, they'd sit down and they'd keep their coat on. So this would fill up with white. The goal here is to have your coat on just while you're basically walking across the stage to be able to have your photo up and say what you're gonna say. And then go back, you could take it off again when you get back to your seat so that we'll, we'll all be together again. And then we'll have you put it on briefly to recite your oath, all right? So that's gonna be the plan with the coats. The way this is gonna work, and the tradition of being coded is we have these wonderful faculty advisors through our academic societies who really focus on the whole student, their wellness, not just their academics, but who they are as a person, making sure they get enough sleep, all of those other kinds of things. And um, really, um, they are some of the beloved faculty, and so they have the honor of sort of coding the students. We're gonna make sure that as we do this, the faculty only have a few people coded. We wanna keep this code. We're gonna have one person coming from one side saying their brief uh, remarks on this microphone. The person on the other side, as soon as they step down, the next person should be starting there. So come up as they're talking so that we, we minimize time and the heat and everybody gets their, their chance at the microphone. The way it works is staff will be helping. We're gonna start on the right and left side. They're gonna have you stand up by rows and come down to the front. You're gonna line up at the ramps, the handicap ramps on the side. The coders are gonna be coding you there. You're gonna walk up the ramp so that you're ready to go to this microphone or, or be at it when this person's finishing and vice versa. And then you're gonna walk down the steps and when you go down the steps, they're gonna hand you a copy of the oath so you have it to read in the next phase of the program. You got that? I don't have to say that again, right? It's first time, they're brilliant. They just get this. So we're gonna ask the, the faculty to come up and we're gonna ask the first, uh, the staff to start um, sending some students down to be coded. When you come up, have your coat over your right arm. Just carry your coat over your right arm, bring it up and the uh, faculty will cut you. The last thing I wanna do in terms of instructions, and I'm really serious about this, it's, it's hot, right? We're all apologizing for that. There's nothing we could do about it, especially for family members. We are streaming this in the air-conditioned spaces um, in the buildings, and so honestly, don't hesitate. In, in fact, the people on the podium here, some of us, are probably gonna go back and forth inside watching in the air conditioning and back um, so that we all um, you know, stay healthy, all right? so. Um, that is the way it goes. So why don't we get the first students uh, coded and coming up the ramp side, that's the ramp side. And um, we're gonna vacate the stage. All right. My name is Anna Wadwa. I'm an HST MD-PhD student, originally from the San Francisco Bay Area in California. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my lovely parents for always supporting me, even when I was far too stubborn to listen to their advice, um, to my peers and mentors for their endless guidance and encouragement. And I'd also like to celebrate this day in very loving memory of my grandparents. Um, they are no longer here with us today. Sorry, but I like to think that they would have been very proud to see this day come. It's Truly an honor to be here, thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Ben Zhang. I'm from Auckland, New Zealand, and I'd just like to thank all the friends, mentors, and family that have helped me reach the stage. I'd also like to thank my partner, Jessica, uh, for her love and support. And uh, thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Callie. I'm from North Carolina. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my parents. Um, I wouldn't be here without you today and I love you very much. To my siblings, William Tucker and Emily, thank you for supporting me and putting up with me, even when I made you follow very strict quiet time for my MCAT studying. Um, and to my friends and my partner, Alex, I love you so much and you're the joy in my life. I'm very honored to be here. Thank you. My name is Ji Wu Lee and I'm from Lexington, Massachusetts. I want to extend my sincere appreciation for all of my mentors, um, especially Dr. Wu, Dr. Phil Soup, Andrea, and Hunter, and all of my friends from the Bay Area, from Bergen, from Chicago, from across the world, for all of your support throughout my journey. And then to all of my family in Korea, and lastly, to my, the most important people in my life, my Oma Appan Junu, thank you for your endless love and support. Hello, my name is Kristen. I am from Middleton, Wisconsin, and to stand before you guys here today is truthfully beyond my wildest imagination. So it wouldn't have been possible without my parents, my friends, my teammates, my peers. Um, I'm so appreciative for all of you and also to all of the patients who will allow me to step into their lives in the future. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Noah Little. I'm from Saskatoon, Canada. Uh, this is such an thank you. This is such an incredible opportunity, and it wouldn't have been possible without so many people. Um, I'd like to thank my parents, mom and dad, uh, who are here today, uh, my fiance Mary, and my family, and so many others back home in Saskatchewan. Uh, I'm really excited for these next few years, and thank you so much for everything. Matthew Zach Farber from New York. I want to thank all my family who made it out here today. And I particularly want to thank my grandmother, Joanne Banks, and my mother, Pam Farber. They are graduates of the Coolidge Corner of Medicine, and I couldn't have been here without them. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Matthew Reynolds. I'm from Lexington, Massachusetts. I'd like to take this opportunity to first thank my mom and my dad. Uh, your sacrifice and support is the real reason that I'm here today. I'd also like to thank Deanna and Obi. I'm so grateful for you both. Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank my brother, Justin. Uh, Justin, you're truly uh, my role model. Thank you so much. Hey, everyone. My name is Andrew Nguyen. I'm from Rochester, New York. Uh, first, I want to thank our service members and our veterans for their service and their sacrifices. Um, I want to acknowledge the 75th Ranger Regiment, Yale University, and I want to thank my coaches, mentors, those back home who are watching live, and my family, to my father, Tay, to my mother, Hong, and to my brothers, Kenny, Timmy, and Brandon. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Catherine, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I... Um, I am so honored to be standing here today, and it really wouldn't have been possible without the support of my family. So, I'm also so grateful for the support of my partner, my close friends, and all of my previous mentors. Thank you all so much. Hi everyone, I'm BB and I'm from New York. Um, I just want to take the time to say that I'm so grateful to all those who inspired me and helped me to stand here today. My very large family, um, my grandparents, my siblings, Saul, Gus, and Louisa, um, my dear partner Jake, my friends, I love you all so much. Um, and to my mentors, my coaches, thank you for challenging me and teaching me. Um, this is truly a dream and I'm so grateful to be here with all of you as well, so thank you.
Hello, everyone. My name is Mauricio. I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, quiero agradecer a mi mamá y mi papá, mis hermanas y mi pareja, mis amigos y mis mentores por todo su apoyo. Si no fuera por su amor y apoyo, yo no sería la persona que soy hoy. Los aprecio mucho. Gracias. Hi, my name is Nikki Perez, and I'm from Miami, Florida. When my parents and grandparents came to the United States from Cuba, I don't think they ever would have imagined that within 50 years, I would be standing on this stage receiving my white coat at Harvard Medical School. I feel incredibly grateful to be here today to honor them and to be able to spend the next four years with my peers who share in the values of humility, altruism, and gratitude that they taught me. So to my family and friends who've helped me get here and who continue to show me their tireless support, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I love you dearly. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Zongshu. I'm from Fremont, California. Um, I'd like to thank first my family, uh, my parents for giving me their unconditional love, as well as for keeping my belly full every night. Um, I'd also like to thank the rest of my friends, family, uh, as well as my mentors and chosen family for kindly letting me into their homes as well as their hearts. And finally, and most importantly, thank you to my partner, Liz, uh, for gifting me the con confidence and courage uh, to do a little better every day. I love you all. Hi, everyone. My name is Geraldine Sirwald, but you can call me Jerry. I'm from Naperville, Illinois, and to be here right now is truly an honor and privilege beyond my wildest dreams. And I would not be here without the help and support of my communities. So to my parents, Benjamin and Joanna, I am eternally grateful for the sacrifices you've made for me and continue to make for me every day. And to my mentors, friends, and family, thank you for your endless support and encouragement. And to my classmates, I am so excited to learn with and grow with you as we become compassionately curious physicians. It truly takes a village, and to mine, I love you so much. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Ricardo Reyes. I'm from Tijuana, Mexico. First, I want to thank my little brother, Roman, uh, my mother, Aris, my father, Ricardo, my grandfather, Kike, and the rest of my family, my mentors, uh, my students, uh, both those who are still with us and those who have passed. Muchísimas gracias. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm RJ Russell from Port Huron, Michigan. First, I want to thank my mom. Mom, everything I am and everything I ever will be is because of you. And then second, um, this June, I lost my best friend and brother, Zach, to suicide. So to my classmates, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. And to all my family and friends that have gotten me here, thank you. Aloha, everyone. My name is Domni Miyasato, and I am from Maui in Hawaii. Woo! <laughs> I'd like to thank my friends, mentors, and family for believing in me and always reminding me that I'm never alone in this journey. Thank you to my incredible mom and dad for always giving me the opportunity to pursue my passion. I feel their immense love no matter how far I am from home. Mahalo nui loa. Everyone. My name is Laura Carrasquilla Villegas. I was born in Bogota, Colombia, but I grew up in Slidell, Louisiana. I want to say thank you so much to all my family for being here, my parents, my three older siblings, my sister-in-law, who is like family to me. I love you all so dearly. You made me who I am, and I wouldn't be here without you. I also want to say thank you to my fiance, Brandon, for uplifting me, loving me unconditionally, and being by my side as I embark on this journey. I love you all. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Kira Wang and I'm from Piedmont, California. <laughs> um, I would like to thank my incredible friends, family, and mentors. In particular, thank you to my grandparents, my two brothers, and my mom and dad. Thank you for grounding me, for, for keeping me grounded, for believing in me. And <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, you were the first to inspire me to choose this path, and I love you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Angela, or Xia Xia. I grew up in Hangzhou, China, raised by my aunt and uncle, who loved me like their own child, and my maternal grandparents, who raised not only their kids, but their kids' kids at an age when many are finally enjoying the well-deserved fruits of their labor. Their sacrifice, their sense of selflessness, of community and compassion have led me here today. I also want to thank my friends and my mentors, Colleen, Dr. Corrales, Dr. Means, and Dr. Harmon, as well as the rest of my family, my godfather, my father, my brother, who was always better at math than me, made me look really bad in front of my parents. <laughs> and last but not least, my mother. My mother had me at a young age, and so her favorite thing in the world is when people tell us we look like sisters, not mother and daughter. So mom, over the next four years, when I will likely get a white hair or two, a wrinkle or two, I hope that when we stand next to each other, you get all the compliments about your youthful appearance that you love so much, and that you feel all of the gratitude and respect that I have for you. Hi, everybody. My name is Marty Viola. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I am so thankful to be here in all this, and, and my, my family, my friends, my dad, my mom, my two sisters. Um, I'm so thankful, and my one other additional science mom, Holly, my PI, my mentor, I am so thankful for all of your help. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Grace. I'm from Wilton, Connecticut. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude standing here right now. Um, first and foremost for my mom and my sister Liv, who have supported me through every good moment and every hard moment along the way, and also tolerated a lot of quiet car rides for me to study. <laughs> um, to my dad and my brother Mark, who aren't here today, but have been the angels on my shoulder for the past decade. Um, I hope they're looking down on me today. Uh, to my partner, Bennett, to my friends and mentors, I love you all, and this day is as much yours as it is mine. Thanks. Hi, everyone. My name is Mary Sedlak. My hometown is Warrenton, Missouri. I want to say thank you to my family, my friends, my mentors, but most specifically, my husband, Joseph, for his unconditional love and support throughout our journey, and my son, Emmanuel, for teaching me so many life lessons that will undoubtedly make me a better physician. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Aisha Khan. I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. It's taken a village to get here. And so I'm going to thank, thank my mom and dad for their unconditional love and support throughout this process. I want to thank my siblings, Fahad, Hadi, and Zara for their constant encouragement. I want to thank my second parents, Nani and Jinkake and Mamu, for being incredible people. I love you all so much, and I hope, you, I, hope I make you proud. Hi, I'm Eveline. I'm from Burnsville, North Carolina, but I was born in Mexico. And I'd like to start by thanking my friends for the support and growth we've shared together. To my partner for your support and space to be vulnerable. To my mentors for your guidance to explore my curiosities. To my hometown community for showing me how to love and give back unconditionally. To my mom and dad, que llegaron sin nada, pero me lo dieron todo. And lastly, to my brother Edwin, I miss you. I miss you every day, but I carry you, your kindness and compassion to remind others the best of who we can be to each other. Muchas gracias. Hi everyone, my name is William Shen and I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I'd like to thank foremost my family, especially my mother, my dear friends, including two who were kind enough to fly in for the ceremony, and my amazing mentors. Thank you for believing in me, for being there with, for me, and for taking me seriously throughout the highs and lows of my life. I want you to know that when I look upon this white coat, 
I see your care, compassion, and sacrifice. And for that, I am endlessly grateful. Thank you. Bismillah rahman rahim My name is Layla Al-Zubi. I'm originally from Jordan, but I am now situated in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm very humbled, honored, and grateful that Allah has given me this opportunity. 15 years ago, I moved to the United States, a young, hopeful, Muslim, Jordanian, Ramthawi girl. But throughout my academic journey, I was told I wouldn't amount to much because of my identity. So today I stand here proud for my Arab ancestors, for my grandparents, for my mother and father who sacrificed their livelihood for me to have one, Bahibkum. For my siblings, Sada, Hamad, Aya, for never failing to make me laugh. Uh, for my mentors who patiently mentored me throughout my journey, I stand here to show you that I made it, that we made it, and we made it all the way to Harvard. I stand here to remind you that with hardship comes ease. So, inna ma'al usri yusra, sadaqallahu azim. Thank you guys so much, and I love you. Hi, I'm Nanako, or Nanako, um, and I'm from New Hampshire. Um, mama, Papa, Iro Sora. あかちゃんおばあちゃん、あかちゃんおじいちゃん、ゆきちゃんおばあちゃん、ゆきちゃんおじいちゃん、今までありがとうございました。やっとずっと夢を見続けた道に進むことができ、進み始めることができました。これから
And I would just like to take this moment to thank my parents, my brother, all my friends and family. Without you guys, love and support, I wouldn't be able to be here. And I want to remind you guys that this white coat and this accomplishment is as much yours as it is mine. And I hope I make you guys proud. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Jayoon Cha, and I'm originally from South Korea and now live in Dallas, Texas. Um, it has really taken a village to get me to standing here today. 엄마, 아빠, 그리고 우리 한국에 있는 가족 정말 잘했군, 잘했군, 잘했어. 우리 가족이 있어서 내가 꿈을 꿀고 있고 그 꿈을 믿고 그 꿈을 향해서 이렇게 갈수 있어. 너무 감사하고 사랑합니다. And to all of my mentors, to my mentees, to all of my friends, to John, to my brother Jay, so thank you for always supporting me, for always believing me even in times when I didn't, and for your unconditional love and kindness. And finally, to all of the patients whom I've had the privilege of walking alongside this past year, thank you for sharing your trust with me. Thank you for your stories. You will always inspire me to be someone who will earn your trust. This white coat is for all of you. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Alexandra Galls, and I'm from Boston. Firstly, I'd like to express a huge amount of gratitude to Dr. Peter Masiakos, as well as Dr. Michael Kaplan and Dr. Curtis Citrullo for doing so much to make the medical profession more accessible to me. I am also so grateful for my extended family, especially my grandparents who are here today, and for everyone who made college such a fun and wonderful four years. And finally, to my older brother Drew, my dad, and my amazing mom, thank you for just always filling my life with your warmth and love. Hi, my name is Josie and I'm from Newton, Massachusetts. I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't take this moment to thank everyone who helped me get here. Thank you to my mom for being the consummate mother, my dad for his steadfast support and frequent check-ins, my sister Molly for being my other half, my brother Freddie for making me laugh, Graham for leaving really big shoes to fill, the Lascalias and Dorseys for welcoming me into their family, Teddy for injecting levity into my everyday, my friends, extended family, and mentors. And Michael, I have no words. I love you endlessly. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Karina Lu from Beijing, China. And to my family and friends who are in China right now, and also to my boyfriend and his family, I just want to say thank you so much for giving me constant love and support and also for having faith in me even when I was doubting myself. And I just want to say this part in Chinese. Um, 谢谢你们的支持和鼓励,我爱你们. And then finally to my um, fellow classmates, I am so excited to embark on this new journey with all of you. Thank you. Hi everyone, buenas tardes. My name is Chris Alba and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm incredibly grateful and privileged to be here and I can't thank my family enough for their unwavering love and support, their uh, countless sacrifices and their rich uh, value system. Uh, this includes my mom, Victoria, my dad, Juan, and my two younger sisters, Luna and Sofia. I'm also grateful for my extended family, my partner, my friends, mentors and advocates, I would not be here without all of them. It's been so heartwarming getting to know many of my classmates this last week, and I'm incredibly excited to share the next four plus years with all of you. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Nitika Sivakumar, or Nikki, from New Jersey, and I'm so grateful to be here today, and I couldn't have done it without the unconditional love and support of my mom, my dad, my brother, and all my family and friends back home in Jersey, in Chennai, and in Pittsburgh. I appreciate you all. And to my fellow classmates, I know you've worked so hard to get here. I'm proud of each and every one of you. And I can't wait for the next four years of learning and growing together.
Hi, my name is Ashley Brunson. I'm from Alcalia, South Carolina, and I'd like to start by thanking my friends, family, mentors, and teachers who I wouldn't be here today without. And I'd also like to give an advance thanks to my dad, who, let's be honest, will be fielding a few crying phone calls over the next four years. Um, and I would also be up, uh, remiss to not acknowledge my friends Connor, Hunter, Britton, and my grandmother, Barbara, who are not with us today, but I will be carrying in spirit throughout my medical career. And to my classmates, I want to leave you with a quote by Vincent Van Gogh. Normality is a paved road. It's comfortable to walk, but no flowers grow. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Victoria Shen from Clarksville, Maryland. I'd like to thank my mom, dad, and brother for their endless support, and my wagong waipo hanainai um, for always inspiring me and encouraging me despite being thousands of miles away. So all my family, friends, and mentors, I couldn't be here today without you guys, and I'm forever grateful for everything. Hi, ever. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> you, gotta... <laughs> you can't do that. Hi everyone, my name is Len Ho. I'm from Southern California, Oklahoma, and Oxford, England. Um, I'd like to thank my family, my mentors, um, my friends, my chosen family um, who have taught me what it means to love and be loved, to care and be cared for, cared for, and to be seen and accepted in all my entirety. Thank you. I'm Allie Jepson. I am from Crystal Lake, Illinois, and I want to thank my family for their never-ending love and support. Mom, Dad, Dean, and Sarah, I am every, everything I am, I owe to you, and I am just so grateful. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to go on this life-changing journey with you and everyone else in this room. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Naira Krom and I'm from Austin, Texas. I want to start off by thanking my amazing parents for all the sacrifices they've made and unconditional support, especially my mom, who's the reason why I wanted to go into medicine in the first place. Um, I'm also super grateful to my sisters, Maha and Alina, for being my best friends and the best listeners ever. I also wouldn't be here without the rest of my family in Pakistan, my friends, mentors, and teachers. And I just feel super lucky to be learning alongside such incredible people the next four years. So thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Selena Jung, and I'm from Wolsey, Massachusetts. Um, I'm so incredibly grateful and honored to be here with you all today. And I just wanted to extend the warmest of thank yous to my family, my friends, and my mentors for your unconditional support over all the years. It is your love and guidance that has single-handedly brought me here, and I'm so, so excited to embark on this new chapter with you all by my side. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Andrew Shen. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Um, I'd like to first thank my parents and grandparents who are here with me today. Slowly melting, it looks like, just like the rest of us, but, you know, powering through. Um, I'd like to thank my extended family in Korea and Japan who are watching from home, and also my amazing mentors from Duke and my best friends from Duke. Um, and, you know, thank you for your love and support. Um, I dedicate this white coat and all that it means to you guys, so thank you so much. Hi everybody, my name is Isabel Barnett and I hail all the way from Needham, Massachusetts. <laughs> this moment is an absolute dream come true and I have so many people that I'd like to thank for this opportunity. First, I want to express gratitude to my friends and mentors at MIT and beyond for always cheering me on. Next, I'd like to thank my extended family for all of their constant, their constant love and their constant support. To my grandfather, Thank you for showing us all what it means to dedicate your life to serving others. If I could become half the physician that you were, then I'd be lucky. And lastly, to my parents, partner Ben, and sister Kayla, thank you so much for being my biggest source of strength and love. 
I'm so humbled to be here today with all of you and cannot wait to embark on this incredible journey. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sydney Corey and I'm from Tampa, Florida. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank my parents for your unconditional love and sacrifice in shaping me in who I am today. Um, to my brother Luke for supporting me always, and to my friends and mentors for always guiding me along the way. I'm very excited and privileged to be here and really excited for these next four years with you all. Good afternoon, my name is Cindy Wan and I am originally from Dublin, California. Um, it's still, I'm still in shock um, and it still feels so surreal to be here and I'm so incredibly privileged to be able to thank some of the members of my village who have made me the person that I am today. So in the back, Amma, Appa, Stacey, you are my rock and my foundation. Um, your sacrifice in coming to the United States to build a new life does not go unnoticed and I am constantly inspired by your hard work. Um, I would not be the person that I am today had it not been for your unconditional love and your support. Um, um, and to my sister, who, Stacey, who is the best teammate and best sister I could ever ask for, thank you for encouraging me in, the in some of the darkest times when I didn't know I could believe in myself. Um, and last but not least, to my friends, both near and far, some of whom are here today, um, as well as the mentors who have guided me along this incredible, um, incredible journey, um, this white coat is for you. So the work has, there's the work, there's a lot of work, excuse me, um, and it, I'm only just getting started. So thank you so much. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Mueller and I'm from Eugene, Oregon. First, I'd like to thank my mom and Amy for coming all this way to see me. It really means a lot to me. Um, and I'd like to thank my dad and two brothers who are watching all the way in Oregon for their love and support. I'd also like to thank Marcelo for putting up with me when I'm cranky and tired, which he'll probably have to deal with a lot. And lastly, I'd like to thank the lovely people who decided to attend a different med school so I could get off the wait list. <laughs> My name is Heather Gu, and I'm originally from Troy, Michigan, and and I want to give my first um, warm walk or warm thank you to my mom and dad and my brother who's back there. Uh, thank you for um, being my rock and sticking through, sticking with me through everything. Um, when I what I mean by sticking with me, I mean like I've never left them uh, except for school. Um, <laughs> Um, I also want to thank my Wapo, who's back at home. I also want to thank my Waiko, my grandpa, who's up there always looking after me. Thank you so much. I also want to give my second thank you to my friends, mentors, and advisors back home in Michigan. They've just been above and beyond and, and stuck with me through every single emotion that's humanly possible. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is David, I'm from Monterey, Mexico. Um, so to my parents, thank you for your love, your support, your patience. Uh, to my siblings, thank you for giving me the courage uh, to you know, pursue a medical education in a foreign country, los quiero mucho. Uh, to my friends, thank you for all your support, for being there for me, for cooking the week before my MCAT, that was the best. Um, and you know, to my mentors, uh, Dr. Benjamin Abella, Dr. Josh Glick, Dr. Sebo Manikarotu, you know, thank you for everything. And you know, it, it indeed does take a village, and I hope we can be that village to each other in these next uh, four or more uh, very trying, very challenging, and very rewarding years. Hey guys, I'm Joey. Um, I'm from Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, yep. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, beyond thankful, uh, especially for this fan right behind me, um, but uh, especially to all of my amazing classmates, all of the mentors that I've had over the years, um, and my friends and family, uh, especially my grandparents, um, my dad, my brother Donnie, um, and above all, my mom, uh, who I miss very deeply, but 
I know she's with us every single day. So thank you so much. Hi, I'm Liam Gaziano from Boston, Mass. Um, I want to thank all the people that, that helped support me uh, along the way. Um, first and foremost, my, my, uh, my mom and dad, Michaela and Dante, my amazing friends watching at home, uh, my mentor, Adam, my extended family, and finally, my amazing fiance. Let's go plan a wedding during med school. <laughs> My name is Victoria Tian. I'm from Scotch Plains, New Jersey, and I wanted to thank my family for their unconditional love and support, along with my mentors and teachers for always inspiring me and encouraging me. And finally, I wanted to thank all of the incredible people I've met during the course of this week and all of the kindness you've shown. This place already feels a lot more like home. Hi everyone, my name is Ivy Liu and I'm from Ellicott City, Maryland. Um, I first want to thank my mentors and my friends who have nourished uh, my mind and my spirit. Uh, most of all, I want to thank the people who raised me and who have loved and supported me through every season of my life. Mom, Dad, la la la, yeah. This is yours as much as it is mine. I love you, thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Noelle Kim and I'm from Reno, Nevada. And I just wanna take this time to thank all my friends and family for always being there for me to give you my, you, me their unconditional love and support. And to all my classmates, I'm excited to begin this new journey with you. Hi, my name is Haylin Gim. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I want to thank my mom, my dad, my sisters, my family, mentors, and friends. I would not be here without you and your prayers, your encouragement, your love and guidance. Thank you so much, I love you so much. Hello, hello everyone, my name is Xue Hao Ma. I'm from Shanghai, China. Uh, I would like to thank my mentors, Martina, uh, Dr. Bentley, Dr. Tan, Dr. Shen, for your suggestions and guidances and inspirations. They are truly valuable. I would also like to thank my friends, Oscar, Jiang Zhao, Lance, uh, Yi, David, Ronnie, for all your love and support during my most difficult times and just being with me during my ups and downs. And most importantly, I'm grateful for having my family. Papa, Mama, if you don't have your 无私的牺牲以及爱就没有今天的我。谢谢你们二十一年来对我的养育之恩，我爱你们，谢谢。Hi everyone, my name is Julie Han Yang Chung, and I'm from Harbor City, California. There is so much to be thankful for today. Um, I just want to start off by saying I used to go to my aunt and my Harabodis, um Hanyak and acupuncture Hanyuan in Koreatown every weekend. And even though I'm the first in my family to become a doctor, I'm definitely not the first to be a healer. And to heal really means to have faith that it can get better. And I learned that through the resilience of my onni, my omma, appa, 작은 고모, 큰 고모, 할머니, 할아버지, 특히 우리 엄마와 아빠, 제가 항상 좋은 딸, 자랑스러운 딸 되고 싶었어요. And I want to thank my mentors, my teachers, my friends, and I really want to thank my partner, who not only read all my secondary essays, but has always been my rock, and I love you so much. Thank you all. Hi everyone, my name is Lang Liang and I'm from Toledo, Ohio. I want to thank my mom and dad for raising me, um, pushing me when necessary, and also their unconditional love and support. I want to thank my older brother Juan for always being a positive role model and driving me around when I did not have my driver's license. Um, I want to thank my girlfriend Janet for her support and just really truly being an inspiration in my life. I want to thank my friends for all the past great times and all the future great times ahead. And finally, I want to thank all of my mentors for guiding me and taking their time to teach me everything they know. 
Um, I'm so grateful for all of them, and I would not be here without them. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Mercy Masaryk, and I'm originally from Mercerville, New Jersey. I'm so excited and honored to be standing here today, and I wouldn't be here without all the support and kindness from my friends, my mentors, and my professors. But most importantly, I wouldn't be here without my family. To my three older siblings, Tim, Luke, and Amy, thank you for always encouraging me, laughing at my jokes, and spurring my curiosity. To my mom, thank you for being my role model and showing me what true resiliency and strength means. And to my dad, thank you for inspiring me to go into medicine. I miss you so much. There are so many things I wish I could tell you that I learned this past week. And I know there's going to be so many more things I want to tell you over the next four years. But I know you're always looking down. You're always proud of me. And I'm so thankful for all the values you instilled in me. It was an absolute pleasure meeting so many of the faculty this week, so many of my incredible um, like colleagues, my classmates. And I'm so excited for the next four years. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Eve. My name is Eve. My, my name is Ifan Chuku Anekwe. I'm from Enugu State, Nigeria. I was born and raised in Duluth, Georgia. I want to thank my parents, my brothers and sisters, especially my mother, who has sacrificed many nights, many night shifts for work for me to get here. She was with me every step of the way. I'd also want to thank my brothers and sisters, my cousins, my aunts, all over the world. And I also want to thank my classmates. This is the most talented and extraordinary group of people I've ever been among. It's a privilege to be among you all. And one more thing, I would like to give you all a definition of my name. My name basically means, for man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is Irene Anthony and I'm from Long Island, New York. I hope you guys are all still doing well. I see a lot of fans going on. Um, first off, I would like to thank my mom, my dad, and my little sister, Shannon. I love you, Shanna. You're my inspiration every single day. I would like to thank my Aunt Sony, my Uncle Janoj, and my cousins, Joey and Anne, for all their support. My grandmothers, my Amachi and my Amama for their prayers. And to all my friends and my mentors who've inspired me along this path and guided me, especially Drs. Chris Kroll, Jim Skeeth, and John Constantino. And lastly, um, my entire family is from a small state in India called Kerala. And I'm so proud to stand before you all today as an Indian American and as a proud Malayali. Thank you so much, everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Michael. I'm from San Diego, California. I'd like to first start off by thanking my wonderful mother, best mom ever. Uh, my dad, he's pretty cool too. My sister, uh, my grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, all my friends back home and at Notre Dame and all the guys at Stanford Hall. Uh, I wouldn't be here without you guys. Uh, thank you. That's it. Hi everyone, my name is Grace Smith. I'm from Holden, Maine. I'd like to thank my um, mom and dad, my grandparents, my nana and grampy. Um, I'd like to thank four of my biggest role models um, that are here today, my siblings, Caleb, Miriam, Naomi, and Priscilla. And finally, I'd like to thank my partner and the mentors who have helped me believe that today would be possible. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Josh Joseph. I'm from Winchester, Massachusetts. I want to do two quick shout outs. First one goes out to all my med school classmates and especially to my dental school classmates. You guys are awesome. <laughs> we have a great four years ahead of us. Um, next shout out, and the biggest one goes out to my family. I'm joined here with my mom, my dad, my sister Elma, my grandmother. My parents moved here from India 28 years ago with absolutely nothing in their pockets. Still managed to get here to a Harvard white coat ceremony and both their kids are gonna be doctors. So shout out you guys, I love you. Hi everyone, my name is Priya Kumar. I'm from Titusville, New Jersey. 
First, I want to thank my friends and mentors who have brought me all the way here, and hi to everyone watching at home. Um, I'd like to thank my family, especially mom, dad, Sahil, and Sumi. I would be literally nothing without your sacrifices and selflessness, so thank you. Um, to class of 2026, I can't wait to learn alongside you, and thank you for your vulnerability and openness this week so far. Um, and to Nanaji, Dadima, and Sumi Masi, I carry you with me every day, and I miss you and love you. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Eddie Wang and I'm from San Dimas, California. I'd like to take this time to thank all my friends, my mentors, the Tufts community, the SoGo crew, and my sister, Lena, over there. Um, thank you all for so much inspiration and all of the support. I love you all so much. And But more than anybody, I want to thank my parents whose years of sacrifice have paved the way for me to be standing right here. Bob, Mama, Meme, Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sanjana Satarsala and I'm from Canton, Michigan. I'm so extremely grateful to be standing up here today, and I know that would not be possible without all of the people in my life. So first, I'd like to thank all of my family members, especially my parents, my sister, and my grandma. Amma, Nana, and Sakshi, and Ava, thank you for your unwavering support and your unconditional love. It means the world to me. To my friends, thank you for always believing in me and being there for me. And to my mentors, thank you so much for your guidance. I know I would not be here without you, and this white coat is for you. I love you all very much, and thank you. Hey, everyone. My name is Edson D'Souza. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, I was born here in Boston, but my family immigrated here from Minas Gerais, Brazil. Um, first off, I really wanted to thank God. Without faith, I would not be up on this podium right now, and I would not be getting this white coat. S secondly, I really wanted to thank my aunt, Carmelita de Souza. She sacrificed so much for me in the past four years. She's really taking care of me and taking me under her wing, and I could not be here without her. Um, I also want to thank all of my friends that you guys heard earlier, and my uncle for being here supporting me today. Um, they really carried me through undergrad and always taught me to shoot for the moon and maybe I would end up amongst the stars and I guess I hit the moon by accident. And, <laughs> and last but not least, I wanna thank my mom, my dad, and both of my little sisters. They're watching home all the way from Brazil. Amo vocês, saudade, queria que vocês estivessem aqui. And thank you so much, everybody. Hi, I'm Ritika Manik. I'm from Florida. Um, I'd like to thank all of the people in my life who've shown me so much love, all of my friends, my friends who are watching, my mentors, Dr. Sadiq and Dr. Fayanju, um, my Masi, thank you for everything you do for me. Dhruv, my wonderful brother, I am so proud to call you my brother and I'm just so grateful for you. And Mama Baba, thank you for your unwavering love and support. It's my safety net. And despite your refusal to admit it, I'm up here because of you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Kirill Nikolovsky. I'm from Burr Ridge, Illinois. Um, I want to start off by thanking my family, my mom, dad, and brother who are here, uh, and everyone watching back home. I want to thank my amazing partner, my friends who love me like family, and all my mentors. I owe the person I've become to you all. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Vilubam Sita. Hi, everyone. My name is Samhita Kariala, and I'm from Sunnyvale, California. Um, as I stand here today, I'm reminded of Bell Hooks, who writes, uh, we do not have to love, we choose to love. And um, I'm feeling so, so beyond grateful for my amma, my nana, my sister Sahiti, my grandparents, my public school teachers, my professors, uh, mentors, and my friends for choosing to love me. Um, your love has been beyond transformational, and I hope to carry it with me every single day of my life. So thank you.
Hi everyone, I'm Robert Basong and I'm from Portland, Maine. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my parents, siblings, uh, my godmother, uh, my girlfriend, and all of my other mentors. Without your endless love, sacrifice, and support, I wouldn't be here today. Mom and dad, thank you for truly inspiring me to pursue the incredible profession of dentistry. Thank you so much. Um, Mom, you've taught me so much about how to be concerned for your patients and peers. So one day I hope to be as good of a dentist as you are. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Boucher and I'm from Bozeman, Montana. And like many of you, in addition to starting medical school this week, also marks moving into yet another dorm. Uh, which for me means taking daily trips to Target with my mom so that I can pick up all the things I forgot to pack. Um, but on those walks, my mom and I walk very slowly so that I can fill her in on all of the excitements of starting this path with all of you. So today I would like to thank my classmates for already inspiring me and being, making it easy to fill the time on those walks, but most of all, to my mom, my role model, who has been with me every step of the way and not just to Target. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Steven Zhu from Brooklyn, New York. I didn't think I'd cry before I got up here, but here I am. So a big round of applause to you guys for everything that you've achieved so far. Um, I'd like to start by extending my gratitude to my family, uh, my dad, uh, Long and Linda, Alex, Jayu, um, Elizabeth and Elaine who are here today, and friends and family back home who couldn't make it. Um, to my mentors, Dr. Lauren Golub from Stony Brook University, and Dr. James Fitzgerald from Garden City, New York. And last but not least, I'd like to extend my greatest gratitude um, to my late mother, who sacrificed everything that she had and everything that she knew um, for me to be on this podium, <clears throat> and who passed away in my arms a couple of days after receiving my acceptance at HSDM. And to her, I say, rest easy. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Eric Strand. I'm from Walnut Creek, California. I am so humbled and honored to be standing here embarking on such a journey with my amazing classmates. Um, I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my sister, my grandparents for their unwavering, unconditional support and their love. Uh, I'm truly grateful. And to my partner, Haley, you're incredible, you're my rock. And uh, to her partner, or, uh, to her family as well, <laughs> which is me. <laughs> um, to her family, thank you for being my home away from home, and to my mentors at Oregon and Stanford, I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey everybody, uh, my name is Matthew Watt. I'm from South Africa. Um, I'd like to first and foremost say thank you God for uh, this tremendous blessing, for standing by me and walking with me all these years. Uh, to my beautiful parents for sacrificing everything, coming to this country, leaving their world so I could have my own. Um, to my brother, Aaron, for being the most tremendous role model anybody could ask for. To my partner, Megna, for loving me unconditionally, being there day in and day out, supporting me. Um, and then to all my mentors, professors, and friends for all their wisdom and guidance. Thank you all. I love you all very dearly. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nathan Smith. I'm from London, Ontario, up in Canada, but I grew up in Arizona. First, I just wanna give a big shout out and thank you to my parents for creating such a loving and nurturing home for me to grow up in. I also wanna shout out my brothers, Jared and Jason. You guys are goobers, but I love you. Um, <laughs> I wanna thank everyone at the University of Arizona and everyone in Arizona who mentored me and helped me get to this point. And last but not least, I have to shout out my best friends, Johnny, uh, Colton, and Nick. I miss you guys, I love you guys, so thank you very much.
Hi everyone, my name is Jeffrey Rasmussen. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. And I want to take this opportunity to uh, thank my loving family, uh, my mother, my father, Steve, Julie, uh, Amy, my brother Nolan and his family, uh, as well as my grandpa, who's watching from Omaha. And then lastly, I also wanted to thank uh, my loving girlfriend, Elisa, and her family for coming out to support me. Um, you all mean the world to me, and I wouldn't be here without you. So thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Harry Shemmeglund. I'm from Hopkinton, Massachusetts. I want to thank all the people who have made this moment possible. Um, my family, Amanapa, thank you for your unconditional love, sacrifice, and support. To Hamsa, thank you for being my first ever conversation partner. Um, and to my many mentors and friends, from Zavarian to BC to Chicago, um, thank you for making me the person that I am today. I love you all, and I'm wearing this white coat. And it's as much yours as it is mine. Thank you. I'm Amanda Law, and I'm from Orlando, Florida. I would like to thank my mentor, Dr. Romy, for showing me how to care for patients with empathy, my childhood best friends, and everyone in my family, to my mom, Gamun Matt, and to my dad, Dajay Baba. Over 20 years ago today, on August 5th, my dad left Hong Kong, and now he gets to attend his daughter's Harvard White Coat ceremony. So thank you for this opportunity. Hey y'all, uh, I'm Charlotte. I'm originally from Iowa City, Iowa, but now I'm from Louisville, North Carolina. Um, I just, I really wanna thank my family and everyone who got me here, including my uncle who drove 13 hours with a mini fridge that is now broken in the back of our car. <laughs> um, so thanks to him and to my parents for getting me here and teaching me all about medicine. And to my brothers for just being amazing and also annoying at the same time. I am who I am because of you. And of course to Grant for taking shifts in the tent at Duke so I could still go to basketball games while studying for the MCAT um, and for just keeping my head on my shoulders. Thank you all so much. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Page. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. And I'd just like to thank all my family and friends for their unconditional love and support and for believing in me even when I didn't believe in myself. And um, I'd like to thank mom and dad. You guys are my biggest inspiration and I'm here for and because of you. And to my siblings, Caroline, Chris, and John John, you guys are my role models and my best friends. And I love you guys. And I'm so excited for these next four years. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sigaro Duran. I'm from Miami, Florida. And I'd like to take a moment to thank all my mentors and friends that made this possible. I'd like to give a special thank you to my partner, Jessica. Y para mis papás, quiero decirles que no estuviera aquí sin su apoyo y sin los sacrificios que ustedes me han dado. Gracias. Hi, everyone. My name is Aisha, and I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. 20 seconds is not enough to accurately convey my gratitude for this moment, but I'm gonna do my best. To my family, mama, dad, Uppy, Yaya, thank you so much for always loving and supporting me. To my best friends, Anna and Caroline, thank you for always telling me what I need to hear and not always what I want to hear. And to my supporters, mentors, PIs, encouragers, and everyone along the way, thank you so much for your faith and dedication in me. I dedicate my white coat to you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chinmay Bakshi, and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for granting me the privilege of serving others through the practice of medicine. Second, I would like to thank all my mentors and friends back home. I couldn't have done it without your help. Third, and most importantly, I'd like to thank my family, my grandparents uh, for their endless blessings, my uncle, aunt, and little bro Varad for always being there for me, my baby sister, Vidi, for being my best bud for life, my dad for shaping me to be the man I am today, and most importantly, my mom, who is the sweetest and most genuine person I know. Mama, if I could be even 1% of the person that you are, I would consider that a success. And to the wonderful class of 2026, I cannot wait to learn with you these next four years. Thank you so much. Hello, 
everyone. My name is Alex Weinberger. <laughs> um, I'm from Los Angeles, California. I would like to thank my family and Maple, um, friends at home, um, my mentors, peers that have gotten me here. I'm only up here on this stage today because you have lifted me up on your shoulders. To my newest classmates and peers, you guys are all so, so freaking cool. I can't wait to spend some more time getting to know you. Cheers to the next four years. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Tristan Fernari and I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. I'd like to thank my parents for all the support that they've given me. To Heidi, Todd, Phil, and my siblings, thank you for all your encouragement. To Abby, thank you for all the love that you show me. And to my mentors, Denise and Rich, thank you for teaching me what it means to live a life of compassionate service to others. Thank you. Hi, I'm Macaulay Reardon and I'm from Massachusetts. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for always supporting me and giving me a safe and loving place to land. Thank you also to my sisters, Casey and Charlotte, for your constant friendship. I love you all. Hi everyone, my name is Jean Borgal and I was born in Budapest, Hungary, but I grew up in Lexington, Kentucky. I'd first like to thank my parents who as first generation immigrants have made extraordinary sacrifices for their children. I'd also like to thank my little sisters who have always believed in me and my grandparents who have always provided wisdom in times of need. Lastly, I'd like to thank my many mentors, the people who have taken time out of their busy schedules to help me realize my dreams. But this is just the beginning. Thank you. Hello all, my name is Mia Vaida. I am from Westwood, Massachusetts. First, I'd like to thank my friends and mentors at Thayer Academy and at Tulane University. Thank you for your support, but most importantly, I'd like to thank not only my extended family, but my brother Tyler. I'm, I'm inspired by your positivity. To my mom, Dr. Abby Yunus, to my dad, Dr. Vaida, you guys are the reason I have entered into this profession, and I'm endlessly thankful for that. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is John Kim. Uh, I was born in South Korea, but I grew up in Bangkok, Thailand. So I'm a long way from home, but I've never been alone. I want to first thank God uh, for calling me to medicine, and I want to thank my lovely wife, Eunice, um, I love you, and because of you, I want to be a better and kinder person every day. Um, I want to thank uh, my family uh, here and in Korea. I want to thank my friends and my mentors, um, without whom I wouldn't be uh, here today. Um, thank you. 사랑합니다. 감사합니다. Hi, everyone. My name is Franny. I'm from Edina, Minnesota. Um, I want to thank my mom, dad, and brother who are all here today. I'd also like to thank all my friends who have cheered me on every step of the way. And lastly, I'd like to thank everyone at Zeiss Dental who has taught me so much about dentistry and also made me incredibly excited to start my career. And I can confidently say I wouldn't be here without all the wonderful people in my life. Hello. Hi everyone, my name is Winston Lee. I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia, but I grew up in Boise, Idaho. First and foremost, I want to thank my incredible parents, Fatma and Kwong, for uh, always believing and supporting me since day one. I also want to thank my older brother, Stephen, for being the best role model a younger brother could have. Uh, and finally, I want to thank all my amazing friends, uh, mentors, um, that I've met in Idaho, Princeton, and in Taiwan. I especially want to thank uh, Jess, Dante, Elizabeth, Stephanie, Janika, uh, and so many others. Uh, I couldn't have done this without you. Uh, thank you all, I love you so much. Hi everyone, I'm Asla from New York. I really wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for the amazing sacrifices of my strong and very, very brave mother. 
Um, I'd love to thank my dad for being the kindest soul I've ever met, uh, to my Anana and my Mia Mia for practically raising me since birth, um, to my boyfriend Michael and his family that are so monumental in everything that I do, and to all my friends and family. I love you all. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is V Hoang Nguyen. I'm from Bandon, Vietnam, and also the San Francisco Bay Area. I want to thank my parents, sister, friends, mentor, and mentee for inspiring me, supporting me, and reminding me many times to drink enough water, to not skip my lunch, uh, to show up for myself, and to be gentle to myself. I also want to thank all of the incredible patients that I have the privilege of working with and learning from over the past few years uh, for showing me and teaching me the many realities of being patients and receiving care in the US and for inspiring me to go into medicines. I hope that one day I know a little bit more to take care of you and our communities one at a time. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Christina Xu. I'm originally from Princeton, New Jersey, and I'm so honored to be here, and I'm just so grateful to everyone who has supported me and loved me. My family, my mom, my dad, my sister, um, my boyfriend Brendan, and all my friends from Muhlenberg who are here. I love you all so much, and I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Annie Abruzzo, and I'm from New York City. Um, it truly really takes a village, and I'm so grateful to all the family, friends, and mentors who have helped me get here and supported me when I needed it most. Um, Tiff, Lucia, Matt, you know me better than I would have thought possible. Um, Antoinette, Aunt Sue, and Grammy, you filled my life with so much love. Um, and to my mom, um, you are so resilient and devoted, and I'm, this is, I'm, I'm here for you. Um, and to my birth family, I might never know you, but I hope you would be proud. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, my name is Krisha Patel, and I'm from Northville, Michigan. First and foremost, I would like to thank God and my guru for giving me the chance to be here. I would never have dreamed this in a million years. Um, I would love to thank my mommy and my dad um, I like to say that they care too much about what I do, but the truth is that I would be nowhere without their love and their support, always. Um, I would like to thank my older brother, Pujan. Um, I don't want to give him too much credit, but he's my best friend in the whole world. I love you. <laughs> um, I would like to thank my village of a family back in Michigan. They have supported me through everything, and they've always believed in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. Same goes for my friends. Um, I'm just so excited to be here, and my new classmates, you guys are already my new family, and I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. My name is Ashish Tahal. I was born in Kathmandu, Nepal, but I grew up in Philadelphia. Um, there are so many people who are responsible for allowing me to be up here today. I have countless friends, family, loved ones, but I especially have to give a shout out to my brother, who pushes me every single day, and he's the one who's willing to call me out, sometimes when others are not, and my parents, who gave up everything to move to this country. I'd be nothing without you guys, and I love you guys. I don't say that enough. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Arie Ayosef. I'm from Westfield, New Jersey. First, I'd like to thank my parents, my mom and dad, for supporting me throughout my whole life and dedicating their life to loving and providing for my sister and I. I'd like to thank my sister Leah for being the ultimate role model. I'd also like to thank my friends for always allowing me to laugh and bolstering me when I need it. Um, and thank you to my mentors, Dr. Kathy and Dr. Nicole, um, and to my classmates. It is an honor to be able to stand here with you all um, and a privilege to be able to call you all my classmates for the next four years and teammates for life. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lexi Balshi. I'm from Delray Beach, Florida. I'd like to thank my family for <laughs> loving and supporting me, especially my brother Benny, my cousin Gus, and my aunt Candy. I want to thank my college roommates for holding me at my best and my worst, Sela, Kara, Diana, and Kira, I love you. Um, and I'd especially like to thank my parents. Dad, thank you for teaching me what a humble physician looks like. And mom, I wouldn't be here without you. 
I love you. And can we all clap for my mom who got here even when she wasn't feeling well? Hi, everyone. My name is Kaisha Lawrence, and I'm from the island St. Martin. And to be here right now is so momentous in ways that are hard to describe. I moved here eight years ago with my mom and my three younger brothers who sacrificed so much. And this was a dream beyond a dream, and it means a lot for my entire island. So to my mom, I am who I am today because of you, because of all of your sacrifices, and you told me what it means to be resilient. I'd also like to thank all of my family, all of my friends, my supporters, all of the family watching back home in our island, everyone who I've met along the way since being here, and to everyone that I will meet. Finally, thank you, God, for choosing me for this amazing profession, and I'll be the best doctor I can be. Thank you. Hello, I'm Max Weiss. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I, I want to start by thanking my parents who have supported me no matter what. Uh, to my girlfriend, Alexis, for being my best friend, for being crazy enough to love me. Uh, and to my grandparents, uh, Popsy, Baba, Papa, who is the physician that I want to become, and uh, Grand Abbey, who would be by far the happiest to see me in this white coat. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Christiana Oshatsi, and I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and grew up partly in Atlanta and Lagos, Nigeria. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for giving me the grace, strength, and wisdom to pursue this path. Next, I'd like to thank my two parents, Joseph Oshatsi and Ashemiado Doris Oshatsi, for immigrating to the United States from Edo State, Nigeria, 20-something, 30-something years ago. Thank you for your sacrifices, your love, for driving me to every place I needed to be before I got my license, for spending hours on the phone with me, talking about my day and your day, for your prayers in the middle of the night, for working till the midnight hour to provide for our family. I'm nothing without you. To my eldest brother, Joseph, I love you and I miss you every day. You are my Y medicine and I really wish that that wasn't the case. <laughs> but I hope to bring equity and justice to the medical field by being part of collective action to make this field better across the world. To my two older brothers, Abraham and Gregory, thank you for loving me and supporting me. To my love, MJ, thank you for holding my hand every step of the way. To my sisters, Maureen, Chini, Moonby, Sarah, thank you for your sisterhood and your love. Lastly, to my mentors, Dr. Navarre, Dr. Bosworth, and so many other individuals at Duke University, thank you so much for holding my hand every step of the way, for being mentors, sponsors, and caring for me beyond medical, medical, the medical field and academia and everything else. So thank you so much, and I'm really happy to be here. My name is Arielle Sweat, and I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'd like to take a moment to thank my family, my mom, my dad, my brother Alex, and my grandparents, um, my fiance Han, um, my mentors, and my friends for their support and guidance. Uh, without them, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, I love you all. Hello everyone, my name is Ayana Watkins. I'm from Sacramento, California. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my support system. Thank you to my parents, my siblings, and my grandma who flew all the way from California to be here today. And thank you also to the rest of my family, to all of my friends, to my mentors, and everyone who is a part of my village. Thank you for all of your love and your support. I wouldn't be here today without all of you. It truly is an honor to receive this white coat and I'm so excited for this journey. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Felita Zhang and I am from San Jose, California. First, I want to thank my father, mother, grandmother, 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 and grandmother for your support. I love you. 
I would also like to thank my teachers and mentors, Colonel Burpo, Colonel Nguyen, Colonel Parker, Major San Juan, Dr. Beitler, and Mr. Gavino for your guidance and wisdom, as well as my best friends, Rachel and Paul, for your endless love and support. I'm so grateful for you all, and I'm so excited for the journey ahead. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Naya Dede. I'm from Alexandria, Louisiana, and I want to start off by... <laughs> I want to start off by giving a huge shout out to my support system, both here and if you're watching online. I want to thank my research mentor and my postdoc for encouraging me to always ask questions. I want to thank my family, my friends, and my partner for always putting up with my antics. I know I can be challenging. And this white coat is for us. I'm excited for the next four years. Hi everyone, my name is Maitri Ambatipudi. I'm from San Jose, California, and I'd first and foremost like to thank my parents for always standing beside me throughout this journey to medical school, nurturing my mind, and of course, reminding me to eat and sleep enough. I would also like to thank my grandparents who are in India, my friends, and all my teachers and mentors for sharing their wisdom, teaching me, and encouraging me. It's been a wonderful week, it'll be a wonderful next few years, and I hope I make you all proud. Aisha Kasule, and I am from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I want to thank my friends, my family, my partner for being here today and always supporting me to achieve whatever dreams I set my mind to. Um, thank you to my classmates for just being fantastic this past week. I can't wait to get to know all of you. My name is Sammy. I'm from Colorado. Um, thank you to my family, ones that are here and ones that are not, uh, friends, teammates, mentors, and a special shout out to my partner Josh for joining me on this journey. Your unconditional love and support is what gets me through every day. Hey everybody, my name is John Corey. I'm from Peoria, Illinois. Uh, I'd first like to thank I'd first like to thank um, my siblings, uh, Needs, Pig, Mio, Buck, and Carol. I love you guys so much. Um, and then even more so, I want to thank my parents. First, my mom, the OBGYN resident who delivered me from my birth mom 22 years ago. Um, you're my best friend. You're the first person in the world to see me. And um, you're my biggest inspiration. And then to Shim, uh, my dad, the cool room parent who always hooked me and my friends up with the cosmic brownies in grade school. Um, you're my best friend too and my biggest cheerleader. I love you guys more than you'll ever know. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Anna Verma and I'm from Chatham, New York. And I'd like to this moment to say that I'm so incredibly grateful and blessed to have the family, friends, and mentors that I do in my life. A big thank you to my grandparents for the long and arduous Im immigrant struggle that they have undertaken to bring our family to where it is today. A big shout out to my dad and my mom for always being there for me and taking care of my well-being. And of course, my older brother, who always is there to help me out with no questions asked. Um, mama, papa, bari mama, bari papa, baji, give me. And a special shout out to my mom who's watching from home, but this is one of my biggest supporters. I love you all so much. Hello everyone, my name is Amaya Hibber. I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, to Brian, the rest of my Duplessis family, Jason, Sam, Leah, Katie, and Johan, I wouldn't be here without you today. Thank you for all your support and love. To Ruth, thank you for coming. I also love you. To my wonderful mentors from the Art of Dentistry, thank you so much for showing me all there is to love about this wonderful profession. Um, and I lastly would like to thank the admissions committee at HSCM for believing in me. Um, you've made a dream come true, and I promise not to let you down. Satsukal. Hello everyone, my name is Sahaj Parmar. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I would first like to start by with my, with my mama and papa. 
Thank you so much for instilling the values in me that I have today. Thank you for your endless sacrifices, your understanding, and your love. This white coat is truly for both of you. To my little sister, Sita, to my life partner, Bobby, and to so many, fam so many family, friends, and mentors that could not be here today, I want to thank you for always believing in me when I really truly felt like I didn't deserve it. To my future patients and communities, I want to thank you for letting me in into a small part of your lives and I promise to continue to grow with humility, to empower your stories and to advocate for your health, human rights and your well-being. Um, lastly, I just want to mention how privileged and honored I feel to be here. Um, and how inspired I am by all your life stories to my classmates, uh, 2026 classmates. Um, I would just like to end with a few words um, in Punjabi from the Sikh, Sikh, from the Sikh faith. Vaiguru ji ka kalsa, vaiguru ji ki fateh. Thank you. Hey y'all, my name is Lily Gordon. I am from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I wanted to start by thanking my Mom and my dad, you are every fiber of my being, and I am so grateful for everything that you have sacrificed for me. Um, I hope to be half of the parent that you have been to me and my two sisters. I would also love to um, thank my mom especially, who is practicing herself. I have watched you since I was a little girl, um, taking care of your patients, and you have changed the way I want to practice medicine, so thank you. Um, I would love to thank my two sisters, Bella and Ava, my friends, my mentors, my people. You know who you are. I carry your heart and mine always. And to you guys, this is for you. This is all for you. Hi, everyone. My name is Mustafa Nasser Moin, and I'm from Cornell, New York. I'd like to first start by thanking my parents for their immense sacrifices that have enabled me to be here today and for teaching me every day what it looks like to love and sacrifice for the people that you care for. I'd also like to thank, and to my sisters, Sonia and Meher, and to my mentors, Dr. Orman, Dr. Oringer, Dr. Snuderl, and Dr. Hassanpour, and to the rest of my friends and family. I couldn't be here without your support, so thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Priscilla Apoka Yaboa and I'm from Woodbridge, Virginia. First and foremost, I would like to thank my mother and father who immigrated to the US from Ghana 30 plus years ago um, so that their children could make their wildest dreams a reality. I'm thankful for your sacrifices and I hope that we've all made you proud. I'd like to thank my siblings, my brothers, Seth, Isaac, Moses, and my little sister, Promise honestly for putting up with me, but I think that we've also pushed each other to be the best for ourselves and for our parents. I'd like to thank my best friends who are watching from Virginia and Germany, the GM, Jacob, Tays, Farhat, Christina, Jason. You guys have comforted me through tears, um, with memes and many laughs, and I do this all for you guys. I love you all so much, and I'm looking forward to the next four years. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a little short. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> my name is Basmira Alia. I was born in Albania and raised in New York City. Where are my New Yorkers in the house? Or 10 at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm joined here today by my beautiful family, my father, Bashkem Alia, and my mother, Safet Alia, who traveled and immigrated from Albania to New York City in 2001. They came with nothing but the clothes on their back and two small children by their side, but a big dream in their hearts. I don't know what I could do to you know, give back to them or um, show them that I care about their sacrifices, but hopefully being a first-gen and immigrant student at HMS comes close. Uh, I'm very excited to also shout out my classmates and my new friends. It's truly amazing and really humbling to be around some of the smartest people I've ever met in my life. I could tell you all that the future of medicine is in really good hands. <laughs> I'd also like to thank my best friends and my mentors for being there for me through everything. I wouldn't have done it without you all. And finally, I can't forget my siblings who are back there recording me. <laughs> uh, Brasita, my sister, and my brother Aslan, as well as my niece who recently graduated kindergarten. It's a pretty big deal. Um, I love you guys so much. You're my best friends, and I just, I, I'm so appreciative of you. Thank you. Um, 
Hi everyone, my name is Claudia Pichardo and I'm from Miami, Florida. Today I'd like to thank my mom for being my rock and supporting me in all my good decisions and also um, guiding me through my questionable decisions. I'd like to thank my uncle who only really signed up to be a cool uncle but got granted way more parental responsibilities than he would have signed up for, so I'm really thankful for that too. Y gracias a ti, Welim, porque sin ti yo no pudiera estar aquí hoy. Today is about you, it's about your sacrifices, it's about everything you've done to see me here. So you really did do it, you did it. Congratulations and thank you so much. Hi, my name is Hannah Cole. I'm from Newton, Massachusetts. Um, and I want to thank my friends, uh, my mentors, and especially my family. I can really feel the warmth of your love. Um, <laughs> And yeah, I want to thank my brother who taught me that laughter is the best medicine, uh, my dad who helped me with organic chemistry, and especially my greatest role model in medicine, my mom. Uh, because of you, I have not one single doubt um, that a woman can succeed as a leader in academic medicine and uh, raise a family and be so incredibly dedicated to excelling at both because you made it look easy. Uh, I love you all so much. Hey everybody, I'm Joe McHale, from, from, Egypt, from Egypt, grew up in Michigan, and uh, like everyone else, I've had an incredible community supporting me, and I'd like to give a few shout outs. First, to my parents, Hanny and Josephine, it is only through your incredible spirits of self-sacrifice, self faith, and love that I have the opportunity to stand here today. If I can show my patients even a fraction of the love you have shown me, they'll be in really good hands. To my little sister, Catherine. Thank you for keeping me humble and always reminding me about how much cooler you are than me. <laughs> to my cousin Mary Zanarsani and my aunt Naveen, thank you for being my home away from home and teaching me so much. Sometimes as an older sibling, you kind of need people to look, look up to and thank you for being that for me. And finally, to my friends, some of whom are here, Andrew, Thomas, Eric, and Johnny, we've gone through some ups, we've gone through some downs. I wouldn't go on this roller coaster ride with anyone else. And finally, I'm reminded of the words of Kobe, job's not finished, thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Ishani Singh from Denver, Colorado, and I want to thank my amazing mentors, my friends and Hugh for bringing so much joy into my life, and most importantly, my family. Um, Peya, who is the only one who can make me laugh at the worst of moments, and my parents, Mummy and Papa, who have worked tirelessly to give me the resources to be here today, and who have given me unwavering love and compassion that I hope to pay forward to my future patients. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Ishan Desai and I'm from Flemington, New Jersey. Um, I'd like to of course begin by thanking my amazing family and friends to my mom, my dad, my sister Isha, my dog Nala, my grandparents um, and so many others. Uh, this is your day more than it is mine. Thank you so much, I love you. Um, to my dear friends and colleagues at Partners in Health, um, the University of Global Health Equity, and the Department of Global Health and Social Medicine. Your family too, uh, you mean the world to me and you inspire me every day. Thank you so much. Um, to all of the staff, faculty, deans, and classmates who have made the first week of medical school so magical, thank you so much. And um, uh, last and but not least, um, uh, uh, to Dr. Paul Farmer. <laughs> Paul, uh, if you're listening, I, I miss you and uh, I wish you were here today, um, but thank you for your accompaniment. Uh, sorry, um, for, bringing, for bringing hope into a broken world and for allowing me to believe in a future in which everyone, everywhere, is treated with care, dignity, and the best that medicine has to offer. I love you, Paul. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Ronak Desai. I'm unrelated to Ishan. 
I grew up in Lindale, Texas, and my life trajectory was made possible only because of a very extensive network of friends, family, and mentors. My parents lead that network, so thank you for always reminding me how little I truly know, and thank you for always inspiring me to learn more. Every time I put this white coat on, it will be a reminder of you. Hi everyone, my name is Anuja Bahulekar. I'm from South Brunswick, New Jersey, and I'm feeling so grateful to be here in front of you all today. Um, Mama, Daddy, this is for you, this is because of you, um, and all the sacrifices that you've made. Um, thank you for everything. To my wonderful sister, Dhanashree, um, who's my biggest supporter uh, and, and the best person I know. Um, I want to acknowledge my family back in India, um, most notably my Ava, who is always giving me his blessings, but also my Aji, Bapu Azuba, and um, my other Aji, who are no longer with us, as well as Anil Kaka, who is also no longer with us, but was um, an amazing physician and who did a lot of the type of work that I hope to do someday. And lastly, um, I just want to shout out some people back home who um, have taken the time out of their very busy days to tune in today. So, Riti, Preeti, Rohan, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and your support. I miss you all. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jay and I'm from Colorado. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank my family and especially my brother, uh, my best friend from day one. Um, I also want to recognize I wouldn't be here at all without my uh, closest friends from college. Uh, one of them is an M1 here at HMS, he's behind me. Uh, my other one is my uh, girlfriend who came out all the way from California um, on a late night flight. I'm really glad that you're here with me today. Um, and lastly, uh, I want to say uh, thank you to my Pati, who loved me so much. Um, I really wish you were here with me today to celebrate. Um, thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Aaron Sandoval. I'm from the great city of Winter Haven, Florida. Um, first and foremost, I want to take the time to show my love and appreciation uh, for my parents, my mom and dad, uh, without whom I would literally not be here today. Um, they really instilled, instilled within me some values that have taken me very, very far uh, and made sacrifices to allow me to accomplish what I have. Uh, I want to thank my three brothers, Zach, Luke, Nathan. Uh, I've come to realize you guys always aren't, aren't always so bad. Um, and you guys have really instilled within me and kindled a fire for a competition that continues to drive me uh, to this day. Um, I'd also like to thank my wonderful girlfriend, uh, Lauren, for putting up with me for the past uh, few years. Uh, without your support, I definitely wouldn't have made it this far. Um, and finally, uh, there are too many friends and mentors that I've made and met along the way um, to name. Um, but everyone from St. Joseph, uh, Bartow, uh, the University of Florida, go Gators, uh, Cambridge and London, um, I love and appreciate you, and uh, thank you for believing in me and allowing me to be standing here today uh, in a white coat at Harvard Medical School. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Vaishnavi, I'm from Redmond, Washington, and I'm just filled with tremendous gratitude to be wearing this white coat today. First and foremost to my dear family, uh, I love you so much, Ai, Baba, and Omkar, for all of the constant support you've given me throughout my life and always being there to talk about whatever I needed to talk about. Um, I also wouldn't be here without my many, many research mentors and other advisors, both from Fred Hutch in Seattle all the way to MIT. Uh, so I'm really grateful, and again, I think it's a tremendous privilege to uh, be able to train here, and I hope I can pay it forward to the future patients. Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm June. I grew up in New York uh, and Seoul, South Korea. Uh, I'd like to take the time to thank my parents, mom and dad. I generally don't say that I love you, but I, I do. 
And um, again, I wouldn't be here without your sacrifices. Uh, thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Shrieker and I'm from North Carolina. I'm just overwhelmed with a sense of gratitude uh, to a, you know, an entire village of people right now, far too many to mention in this moment. But I wanna just especially thank uh, my family, um, Amma, Tate, and Nanama, uh, my mom and dad, Shreya. Um, your courage, kindness, and, and your generosity continues to inspire me every single day. And I, can hope, uh, I hope I can live up to just the extraordinary example uh, you've set during this um, next phase of my life. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Vivian Nguyen. I'm from San Diego, California. I'd like to take the time to thank all the people in my life without whom I would not be the person I am and who, where I would not be where I am right now at Harvard Medical School. First and foremost, I would like to thank my family, especially my parents who have sacrificed so much for me. Um, your endless love and your endless support have gotten me through everything I've gone through. I'd like to thank my partner, Thomas, and his family um, for always being there for me and for loving me um, and for believing me when I didn't believe in myself. I would like to thank my sister for being my best friend um, and someone I can always rely on. I'd like to thank my friends, both new and old, for forming such a great support group and you know, some people I can always count on in my life. And last, but certainly not least, my mentors in my life who have guided me through this journey um, and have given me so many opportunities and resources to be where I am today. I'm so excited for the next four years. Thank you so much. Uh, hi all, I'm Sango Park. Uh, I'm from Media, Pennsylvania. Uh, and I first want to thank God uh, for leading me into this profession. Uh, and really just shaping each of my life experiences, um, the good and all the bad too, uh, that has just made me specifically and perfectly suited for the patients that he's called me to serve. Uh, I also want to thank my friends and all my mentors uh, that have supported me all throughout my education. Um, and then also for my family. Uh, um, Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Eric Esposito, and I'm from Northern Virginia. Uh, to my amazing family and friends, thank you for your unwavering, unwavering love and support. And next, to my incredible mentors, thank you for helping shape me into the person I am. And finally, to my fellow classmates, I cannot wait to embark on this journey with y'all. So, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. My name is Stajus Athani, and I'm from Macon, Georgia. I stand here today on the shoulders of many people. First and foremost, thank you to my parents, Appa, Amma, to my grandparents, Aji, Tata, Hemaji, and the rest of my family for your unconditional love and support. Your countless sacrifices inspire me each and every day. I want to thank you. I want to thank my countless teachers and mentors who have taught me so much. Thank you for believing in me and seeing something in me. I'm endlessly grateful. And thank you to everyone back home in Georgia, to all my friends in Georgia and California, and now here in Boston. I can't begin to thank you for endlessly making me laugh and for always keeping me grounded. Um, you guys are absolute clowns, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Thank you guys so much. Hi everyone, my name is Sierra Tung and I'm from Belmont, Massachusetts. I want to thank my mentors, my friends, but especially my family for supporting me, for their patience, for their sense of humor, all of without which I would not be here today. Especially to my mom and my dad for encouraging me to take every opportunity that yes, I can do it. To my siblings, Zachary and Soleil for, you know, telling me it's always a good time to take a nap, for all the laughs, to my sister for waiting for me to move out of my room before she moved in. And finally, to Rio for always being there and for teaching me so many lessons that can never be said.
Hi, everyone. I'm Cole Swift, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Um, I'd just like to start off by thanking my mom. Uh, your selfless care for others is my inspiration, and I wouldn't be here without you. Um, and to my dad, uh, you always told me to learn something new and have fun before school, and you know, I'm going to keep doing that uh, for the next couple of years. Uh, you're my role model. Um, to Isaac, you're my first, and you're my best friend. Um, and to Audrey, Kwaku, um, Pedro, Alex, and all my other friends, family, and educators, uh, you gave me this opportunity. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Sai. I'm originally from Winnipeg, Canada, which is the home of the Cree and Anishinaabe peoples. I want to thank my dad for flying out here all the way from the great Canadian North, where the healthcare is free and the tuition is a bit cheaper than what it is down south. And mostly, I want to thank my chosen family for showing me what it is to love unconditionally. I want to take that love with me into seeing my future patients, especially those original inhabitants of this land who were here long before we were. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Michelle Leanne Chen Walsh, and I'm from Brookline, Massachusetts. This white coat symbolizes my gratitude for my parents. Um, thank you for showing me how to live a life of purpose, of service, and of love. Uh, Mom, Dad, I love you. Well, I need. Um, to my sister, thank you for showing me an extraordinary example of how to grow up in this crazy world. Uh, to my friends, thank you for teaching me how to truly be in it together with somebody. And to everybody I love, to, all my, to my grandparents who came to this country so that I could uh, be here today. Thank you. Uh, thank you for shaping me. Thank you for making me. I am because of you. Hi, everyone. My name is Caroline Diggins, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I can't say thank you enough to the people who made it possible for me to be here today, to my mentors who inspired my love of science and set an unbelievable example for me of what a commitment to improving health looks like. To my friends, grandparents, cousins, aunts, and uncles, who are my biggest role models, cheerleaders, and are the source of the smile on my face. And to my family, my mom, my dad, and my brother Luke, who have truly walked beside me every step of the, day, of the way. The constant compassion and care you showed me, I will strive every day to reflect back on every patient I meet. Thank you for everything, and I'm so grateful to spend the next four years with you guys. Uh, hey everyone, uh, my name is Jules Albritton King. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank my mother, first of all, for all of her guidance, her wisdom, her love, and for those delicious home cooked dinners. On the other hand, I want to thank my dad for his guidance, his love, and his wisdom, and for ordering pizza when I was with him. Um, I'd like to thank my partner Mimi, who's here today, for supporting me and celebrating all the great moments and commiserating with me and all the bad ones. And then finally, my mentors, Dr. Tim Bhattacharya and Dr. John Fisher, for showing me that great research doesn't either start or end uh, at the lab bench. So thank you all so much. Hi, everyone. My name is Ellis Che Wan Yo, and I'm so incredibly grateful to be with all of you here today. First, to my family, both here and back in Korea, to my Haimani and Harabaji and my brother Johnny, thank you for your unconditional love and the countless sacrifices you made so that I could stand here wearing this white coat today. To my friends, my mentors, Leah Schwartz and Dr. Jerome Grootman, and all of the patients I worked with at the HIPT Clinic in Washington, D.C., thank you for believing in me and inspiring me. And most importantly, to my parents, Amma, Appa, Thank you for instilling in me such a deep commitment to service and compassion. I love you both so much, and I couldn't have done this without you. I know this will be the absolute privilege of my lifetime to care for my patients with um, just all the love I've been so humbled to receive. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Casey Fong, and I'm from the Bay Area, California. Um, I'm grateful to be here with all of you, and I owe it to my family, my friends, my mentors, my grandparents, my partner Alex, my brothers Albert and Eric, and most of all, my mom and dad. Thank you for teaching me everything I know. 
I will carry your lessons with me on this journey. Hi, I'm Alicia Yi, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm so grateful for the privilege to be here today, which was possible because of all the people in my life. Thank you foremost to my family, um, my loving brother Ryan, Appa, and especially Oma for your courage and resilience and for showing me what selfless love looks like. Um, you're the one who has made me who, who I am today and I'm better for it. Um, thank you to my partner, my friends, my family across the world, and my mentors who have inspired and guided me to this day. Um, and I'm so excited to pay this back and pay this forward. Thank you. All right, hello everyone. My name is Jenny Yao. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, I'm just so thrilled and humbled to be here with all my fellow classmates. Uh, shout out to the Mudfuds. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends and my mentors for guiding me, for inspiring me, for challenging me, and always supporting me. And I want to thank my family, um, my extended family back in China, and my parents who are here with me today. Um, thank you for your endless sacrifice and for always encouraging me to explore my scientific interests and to go after my dreams. So thank you, and I hope I keep making you proud. Hello, my name is Juno, and I'm from McLean, Virginia. I'd like to give thanks in the form of a rhyme, so. Uh, to my dad, and thank you to my dad and sister, Appa and Onni. Thank you to my mom, Amma, who's loved me from when I was in her tummy. <laughs> thank you to my fellow Eves, Angela and Cindy, and all my wonderful friends. Thank you for supporting me through life's wild twists and bends. Thank you to my mentors and educators, whether in chem, Spanish, or psych. I am eternally grateful for all of you alike. Hi, everyone. My name is Shira Hornstein, and I'm from, <laughs> I'm from Westwood, Massachusetts. I feel so humbled and honored to be here with all of you. You all are amazing, and I already feel at home here, so I'm very grateful to everyone here already. I'd also like to thank my parents. You've led me this way by example to this profession, and I'm so grateful for you. Without your love and support, I would not be here today. And finally, I want to thank my brother, Sam. You are my best friend and my greatest role model. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mickey Sloat and I'm from Davenport, Iowa. Um, as my grandfather always used to say and my dad now frequently parrots, um, life is an abrasive process. It either grinds you down or polishes the metal of your character. Sorry. <laughs> and I am so lucky to have had a character that was forged by countless mentors, um, and my incredible, incredibly supportive best friends, Marjorie and Christina, and with a few loving dents from my little sister, Meredith. Um, it's because of all of you that I am able to shine. Um, Dad, um, I, I promise to double fist the cup of life. Uh, let's catch a sprite sometime. And um, Mom, if given the choice, I promise to always, always dance. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Maryam Hirod Far. I'm from Mashhad, Iran. To my dear parents, I love you. Thank you so much for all the love and sacrifice for coming here to the United States about seven years ago for me to be able, able to follow my dreams. Thanks for inspiring me. I'm honored and humbled to be able to follow in your footsteps of uh, service, education, and research. Uh, to my dear partner, Mike, uh, thank you so much for uh, being my cheerleader and supporting me through every step of the way. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all of my uh, professors and my research mentors, to my friends and family uh, and teachers back home and uh, all around the world. Uh, and uh, to my dear classmates, I'm so excited to spend the next decade, decades of our lives together. Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Joe. I'm from San Diego. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents. 
Thank you for coming to this country and for all your sacrifices. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for always teaching me that my best is always good enough. Thank you for your love. I'd also like to thank my life partner, Yu Chen, uh, for all of her continual support. This white coat and all that it stands for is dedicated to you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Arjun. Uh, I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, I want to thank uh, all my friends, mentors, and entire family. I wouldn't be here today without your support. I want to thank my Masi and my Mamu for showing me how to have the courage to move forward. And most importantly, I want to thank my parents. Uh, thank you for your patience, selflessness, and love in every chapter of my life so far. I'm excited to pay it forward in this next part. Hi, uh, I'm Kelly O'Connor. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey. Um, I first want to thank my crazy giant Irish Catholic family, including my older siblings, Danny, Amanda, Katie, Bobby, Michael, and Ellen, <laughs> and the like 50 or so cousins, aunts, uncles, and in-laws that I have, and my joyful grandma, Skip and all of them for teaching me to find the humor in everything, because as someone said earlier, laughter is the best medicine. I want to thank my absolutely gorgeous mother for making me the bubbly, social, fun-loving human being that I am today. And I want to thank my father for reminding me that no matter what happens, there is always a reason to smile, because the sun will never go out of business. So as the Irish say, sante. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kieran Bave. I'm from Richmond, Vermont. Uh, I wanted to start by saying thank you to my friends, mentors, uh, Rafi for sitting here in the heat. Uh, and above all, I want to say thank you to my family, my mom and dad, uh, my partner Natalie, uh, my brother Eric. You guys are truly my rock and I wouldn't be here without you guys, so thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Blake Basevich, and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. And I wanna start out by thanking the two of my parents. You guys have been an incredible role model for me my entire life, and the traits and values that you've instilled in me are a huge reason that I'm standing up here today. You both have sacrificed so much of your own to help me pursue my goals and ambitions, and stood with me through the roller coaster of a journey that it's taken to get here today. And for that, I'm incredibly thankful and will always love you so much. Next, I'd like to thank uh, <clears throat> my younger brother, Brady. Uh, you truly are my best friend and you motivate me every day to be the best version of myself. You've had my back through all my, my highs and lows and I hope you know I always have yours as well. Next, I'd like to thank my grandparents. You two have been some of my biggest fans throughout all of my ambitions. And I'm so thankful you've been able to be such a big part of my life. And lastly, I'd like to thank my papa. You have been an incredible influence on the man that I am today. And while I miss you and your stories so much and would love for you to be here with us today, I know that you're looking down with a huge smile right now. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Jacob, and I'm from New York City. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you first to my parents, uh, to my sister, Audrey, to my girlfriend, Sarah, to my two dogs, Pepper and Posey, to all my extended family and friends, uh, to my oncologist for inspiring me. And I love you all, and I'm incredibly lucky and grateful to have you all in my life. Thank you. Hi, my name is David Vanderwall. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I just want to take a moment to thank my mother. If she were still here today, I'm sure I wouldn't be because she's everything that's inspired me to get here. I love you very much. I just want to thank my family, who's sitting in the air conditioning right now, hopefully. My grandma, Janice. My dad, my aunt, thank you so much. Love you guys.
Hi everyone, my name is Dorsa and I'm from the Bay Area, California. Um, I want to start off by thanking my parents who are quite literally my best friends, especially living at home for the past two years during the pandemic um, and who are the foundation without which I would quite literally crumble. Um, I also want to thank my sister for always being such a great role model to me growing up. Um, I want to thank my grandma, who is actually back in Iran, um, for always letting me practice my clinical skills on her with my Toys R Us stethoscope and my um, reflex hammer when I was like eight years old. Um, and I also want to thank my two little cousins, Nivan and Nihad, um, for being such sources of light and joy in my life. And finally, I want to thank my friends. They know who they are. Um, thank you so much. Hi all, my name is Sarah Lipson and I'm from the Washington DC area. To my parents, words can never express how much you mean to me, thank you. I love you to the moon and back. To my younger brother, I look up to you every day. You never cease to amaze me. To my friends, you help me embrace my weird, quirky, authentic self. I wouldn't be slips without you and I don't know how I can ever repay such a wonderful gift to my teachers, mentors, and those who paved the way before me. I stand on your shoulders, and I hope I do your work justice. And to those who fought for and continue to fight for fundamental human rights, I stand with you, and because abortion is healthcare. Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Moreno, originally born in Cuba, but grew up in Miami. Um, I wanted to start by thanking the people who couldn't be here with me today. My sister Annabelle, who's my very best friend and role model in life. Uh, my brother Frank, who is the hardest working person I know and inspires me every day. Um, my uncle Freddie, who has navigated the immigration system in this country in really unthinkable ways and has taught me a lot about resilience to my partner, Liam, who is an unconditional source of strength and support for me in my life. I love you. Um, I wanted to take a moment to honor my grandpa, who always saw a lot of greatness in me and would have loved to have seen this moment. Uh, he left us too soon, uh, two months before my white coat ceremony, uh, but I know he's here with me in spirit today. Um, and lastly, I wanted to thank my parents, who came to this country with very little, but taught me a whole lot about humility, respect, and basic human dignity, which is sometimes lacking in our healthcare system, but so, so important. Um, mami, pa, los amo. Yo estoy orgullosa de ustedes, y espero que sepan que estar aquí en este momento es gracias a ustedes, y más que nada para ustedes. Los amo. Gracias. Hello, sorry, um, hello, my name is Chiyomako Wakezi. I come from New Rochelle, New York, and I'd like to first thank my parents, Peter and Agatha Wakezi, especially my mother who makes sure I'm awake every morning, <laughs> and also to my two younger brothers, um, Obina and Chibuzi Wakezi, who are actually both step, studying for STEP, but still answer my calls, and also to all my mentors, um, especially the NIH for fellowship support, thanks. Hi everyone, uh, as we've sort of stated before, our priority is your comfort and safety. Uh, so as you can hear, we have a little bit of thunder and as we, I'm a parent, as we always tell our kids, if there's thunder, we probably want you to go inside a little bit. So we're gonna take a brief pause uh, from our white coat ceremony and Rob Dixon is gonna help us go inside, do a couple of the different spots within the Medical Education Center and HMS. Uh, until uh, it is safe for everyone to come back out. So Rob, maybe nice I will turn it over to you a little bit. Welcome to White Coat Ceremony Part Two at Harvard School of Dental Medicine and Harvard Medical School. So again, thank you for your patience and resilience. And you know, this, this really is a big deal. And I think this is really why we wanted to make sure that everyone had the opportunity to be able to say thank you. I think it's very rare in one's life 
where you get to be up in front of a lot of folks and be live streamed. I'm going to stand over here uh, and actually be able to do this. And before we continue, I'm just going to make sure with Christopher and Joe that we're recording. Great. So recording for sure. Great. All right. It is pretty unusual. So it really is a very special day uh, that uh, our students can really profess their thanks to loved ones here and loved ones across the world. And as you saw, it really is a way that students are able to get to know each other. They share very intimate details about themselves. And I think I sort of joked that I was glad I was sweating because I was crying most of the time as I was really able to identify. My parents are immigrants from Mexico as well. And they had about a third or fourth grade education. And when I got here as a medical student, I felt that I didn't belong. So I like to tell students that if somebody like me can have a fancy title of dean at HMS, really you're, what you can accomplish is limitless. So thank you for being here and thank you for choosing us and coming to HMS and HSDM. And the advice that I gave uh, your loved ones, your students uh, earlier were you know, the, the three keys to success at Harvard Medical School. And for better or for worse, they're quite simple. They're the same that you may give to your loved ones and the, what I give to my kids. You know, and the first one uh, was to work hard. They're definitely gonna work hard. They're gonna work hard for their faculty that have put a great deal into their curriculum. Uh, but they're gonna work hard for themselves. They've worked incredibly hard to get to medical and dental school. And we have no doubt that they will. But more importantly, they're gonna work hard for all the patients that they're gonna see. Because it's not about numbers and grades anymore. It's about those lives that you get to touch. Uh, we tell them to be kind. We tell them to be kind to each other, and that's the easy part, but we want you to remind them to be kind to themselves, because I think we're really our own worst critics, so remember, remind them to be kind to themselves. And the most important thing, which seems unusual, is to have fun, because uh, before you know it, you could be 25 years from your own graduation, and time's going to fly, but these next four to six to seven or eight years are going to fly, so don't forget to tell them to enjoy themselves. Uh, so with that, uh, it is my pleasure to begin uh, the White Coat Ceremony. We have three esteemed faculty that are going to coat students, and then you are welcome to come up here. Uh, I'm going to give you this microphone, because uh, this microphone is, will pick you up much better uh, than this one here. So we're going to ask our first student to come up, Dr. Fazio, to come up and coat. have all the time in the world so you can applaud and thank who you like. Come right up here. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for sticking around. <laughs> My name is Natalie Swartz, and I am from Los Angeles. Mama, Dada, thank you so much for raising me in a home where I was always told that I was loved. Amanda, I am so grateful that you are my best friend and that you have shown me that recovery is possible and beautiful. Zachary, thank you for being someone to live the highs and the lows of being a fan of the Chicago Cubs with together. <laughs> Chaim, thank you for being my dance partner and thank you to your family for their embrace. Um, and finally, I would like to thank, thank those individuals and patients navigating addiction who have shared their stories and journeys with me so that I can share that journey with them as a physician. Thank you so much. Malikia Hines. I am originally from Trinidad, a beautiful island in the Caribbean. Yeah! <laughs> um, so 
me and some other students did an impromptu like talk in the tent after it got canceled. So shout out to them and also for um, everybody who worked so hard to like reorganize this so that we could also have a moment to share with our classmates. Um, like I was saying in that speech, I came to the United States of America seven years ago on my own with a simple dream of becoming a physician. I knew I wanted to be a doctor, but I had all of this imposter syndrome inside of me because I ha was born with only one hand. And so I convinced myself there was no way that I could go to medical school. There was no way I could be a successful physician. It was just impossible. But it's so funny because <laughs> this literally right here, this moment is a dream manifested like in reality. And I don't know... I feel like, I feel a lot of feelings. I feel like it was very hard to overcome this imposter syndrome to even believe that I would be here and I'm here. And I have so many people to thank for this opportunity and this moment. My parents came all the way from Trinidad and the Caribbean to come be here and share this moment with me. So shout out to them. Shout out to my siblings who are also in medical school in Jamaica and couldn't come and they're doing exams. So shout out to you for being on the Zoom here, being a part of this. My dog, Anais, who is basically the mascot of class of 26, who lives in Mandy. Shout out to him for being here. My sister, Destiny, who came to him from New York to celebrate this moment. This has been a childhood dream of mine and it is actually a reality and I want to share this moment with each and every one of my classmates who are not in this room today. I have met so many of you and it's been incredible to begin this journey of medicine and to know that even though I had all these doubts in my mind and all these fears that it was so many incredible people, my parents, my friends, my family, my mentors, so many people allowed me to help, you know, destroy that, you know what I mean? So now I'm here. So thank you so much for this moment. Yeah. I just last would want to say shout out to my grandma and my auntie Beryl who did not make it on this earth to this day to celebrate this moment. They're some of the strongest women that I ever met in my life and I know they're looking down on me very proud that I was able to overcome so much and shout out to everybody in Trinidad. Your island gal made it. <laughs> My name is Nathan Grant, and I am from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I am extremely grateful to be here today, to be able to study medicine and to be at this school, but I wouldn't be able to do it without the love and support and encouragement from my family. This accomplishment is not mine, it's yours, so thank you. I, I want to first say for my brother Nick, thank you so much for inspiring me to pursue medicine and to be here, for your courage to live every day with MPS or mucopolysaccharidosis, you really show me what it means to be strong no matter what. So I wear this white coat for you. I also want to say thank you to my mom and my dad, E.G. and Robert Grant. Thank you for all the late nights with long phone calls and for all of your encouragement to pursue my dreams. Thank you. And thank you to my grandparents, my Ai, my Aya, for your passion and for your showing me what family means for my grandma and my grandpa and my aunts, uncles, and cousins. And thank you for Danny and his family for your love and support. I am so proud and so grateful to be here today. And I promise that I will pursue medicine to make the world a better place for people with MPS and other complex health conditions and their siblings, parents, caregivers, and families. Thank you. Hello, 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 everybody. 
I would like to start off by apologizing because I am convinced that I asked Mother Nature to do this, to give me a more dramatic entrance. So, I am Sam, I'm from Kansas, and I love it. Kansas, can we please get a round of applause for Kansas? The reason that I love where I'm from so much is because earlier this week, we actually heard from Dr. Saldana that we are each a superimposition of the people who have loved and who have helped us get here. And for me, you know, I think of immediately my parents, my sisters, both one who is here and one who's at home watching with her two, my two nephews and the entire family. I think of everyone in my community who has helped me do this. And so to all of them, I say thank you so much. This white coat is ours. And then before I finish, I also wanted to make a promise. And that promise is that building on the progress of the generations of activists that have come before us, we, this class, by the time that we take off our white coats and hang them up for the last time, we will achieve universal health coverage in the United States by the time that we finish. And we will do that, and we will also do that with the moral imperative to know that we will extend that care to people all over the globe. And I cannot wait. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Donald Luke Pfeiffer. We have Donald Mark and Donald John in attendance back there, so that's probably one of the first thank yous. Um, I come from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and I'm not the last one to say that today, so shout out to all the Iowa pride. Um, I uh, have a lot of people to thank, um, a large Midwestern family, a lot of fantastic friends, uh, my partner Jess and her family who literally helped drive out here to move us in. Um, as well as a wonderful community in Chapel Hill and all over the globe with the weird, weird journey that got me here. So thank you to all of them. And also, I am more excited for everyone else in this class than I am for even myself. So congratulations to everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Nick Cruz from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank God for this opportunity. I want to thank my family back home, whether it's Missouri, Texas, or Hawaii. Aloha. <laughs> um, um, going to medicine has been a trying journey from picking up guns in my backyard to picking up scalpels in the OR. It has surely been a journey. And I just I'm eternally grateful for all those who helped me, and I know these next four years are going to be strenuous and hard. I know I'm not going to pick up the phone, um, mom and dad, but just know my, head are in, my head's in the books, and I promise to go beyond. I promise to set my heart ablaze, and I'll see you guys on the other side, Cowboys. Hi, what's up? I'm Ethan Louder. I will be the last person to say they're from Cedar Rapids, Iowa today. <laughs> um, I want to start by thanking my friends, both at WashU and at home in Iowa. They have made the countless hours of studying go just a little bit faster. Um, I want to thank my mentors. They are really the giants whose shoulders that I can say I stand on. I want to thank my family over there and my brother, Lucas, as well as my grandparents, who have been like a second set of parents to me. Your sacrifices have made this all possible. I love you more than I can possibly say, and I love everyone who's invested in me to this point. Finally, I want to thank my future patients. You will be my best teachers, and it's for you who I practice. Thank you. <laughs>
Hi everyone, Kevin Garcia Rios from Eagle, Colorado. Estoy muy agradecido por estar aquí. Agradezco a mis padres, a mi hermano, a mi hermana y toda la otra familia que me ha ayudado a llegar aquí. I'm also really thankful for Taft Conlon and his family, for friends, mentors, and other people who have helped me get to where I am now. And the class of 2026, I'm really excited to do this with all of you. Hi everyone, I'm Zaid, I'm from Cleveland. Uh, I wanna start by thanking all of my teachers, mentors, and friends who have inspired me. My family, cousins, grandparents, aunts, uncles, whether they're in Cleveland, in New York, in Syria, or anywhere else. My cat, for being my study partner. Um, my two younger sisters who are here, Dina and Lena, my best friends for the past several years. Uh, and lastly, my parents. My mom is the most wonderful person in my life, and my dad is my hero and my role model. So I love you all, and thank you so much. So, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Nasir Stovall from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, first, I gotta thank the man above. Next, gotta thank my mom. You the real MVP. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here right now. Everything you did for me. <laughs> my dad, my sister Star. <laughs> Very good. To grandma. Auntie, uncle, all my cousins back home, my, my friends and family back in Taiwan, everyone, like, I'm, I, I'm really appreciative of, of, all you, of everything you guys have done for me. And since they say medicine is a life commitment, I want to leave you guys with a quote from a street poet named Meek Mill. <laughs> it was time to marry the game, and I said, yeah, I do. I'm from Manchester, New Hampshire, and I want to start out by apologizing. I feel like this is my fault because my college graduation was rescheduled due to COVID. My master's graduation was rescheduled due to COVID backlogs, and now this. But thank you all for being here, <laughs> and I actually kind of prefer this to the tent. <laughs> Um, I'd like to start by thanking all of the mentors, role models, friends, and loved ones, um, whether they were in New Hampshire, um, here in Boston and at Harvard, um, across the pond in Cambridge and in London and even in Sudan. I feel your support and this dream wouldn't have been possible without you. Um, I also want to thank my parents who are up there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mama, Baba, Thank you for your unconditional love and support. This wouldn't have been possible without you. Um, thank you for reminding me to carry my values and my Sudanese culture with me, no matter where I go. And thank you for pushing me to be the best version of myself every single day. And I'd also like to thank my two brothers, also up there, um, recording. Um, I'd like to thank them for bringing um, joy, sunshine, and laughter to every single day, even the darkest of days. Um, and, sorry. Lastly, I'd like to... <laughs> no, it's okay, that helped. <laughs> um, lastly, I'd like to remember my uncle, Mofa, um, he's no longer with us. Uh, he left us uh, a little less than a year ago. 
Um, he was a physician, but not only that, he was an inspiration to all, and he was the backbone for his community in central London. Um, he was also one of my biggest role models and one of my biggest supports throughout my lifetime, and I just feel so proud to be wearing this white coat today because of his legacy, and this is for him. Carolyn Chan, and I grew up in New York, so that's where I'm from, I say. Um, so I just want to start off by saying I'm so honored to be here among you all. Parents, my future classmates, I can't wait to start learning alongside with you and also from you, um, so thank you for that. Um, I also could not possibly have gotten here today without my mom and dad, who are right there. <laughs> Thank you both for making me who I am. I would be nothing without you. Um, and thank you for always teaching me that kindness and humility are my biggest strengths and for leading by that example every single day of your lives. I love you so much. Um, thank you to my brother, Kevin, who's not here, but is watching from home. I don't tell him enough, but he is truly my role model. And then uh, finally, I want to give a shout out to Richard, my partner. Uh, thank you for always being my rock and for being the best cat dad in the world. <laughs> And yes, thank you all guys all so much. Hello everyone, I just want to say that I'm very honored to be here and that I'm very grateful to all the people that helped me to reach this level. Uh, first of all, my family, most importantly, my aunt who raised me like I was hers and she passed away and she was one of the people that inspired me to follow this profession. And my mom who uh, did backbreaking work to bring me to this country, I'm very grateful to her. She's watching, she was the one who showed up. <laughs> so I'm going to shout out to my mom. And also, I would like to uh, acknowledge all the people that gave me opportunities, such as my uh, research mentor, such as Dr. Gigi Storrs, uh, Dr. Uh, Matthias Machners, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Clauda, and all the people that, that were there like, to support me when I was going through difficult times. Thank you very much, and I look forward to working with you guys. Jenny Gann, and I'm from Hudson, Ohio. Um, I wanted to um, thank first my wonderful mentors who have guided me throughout this journey, and also my friends who have often made me laugh until I'm literally crying, um, and of course my family. Um, I'd like to thank my sister who couldn't be here today, unfortunately, due to being a surgical resident, so that sucks for her, but um, <laughs> uh, I'd also like to thank her cat, Finn, and of course my parents who are right there recording me. <laughs> they have loved me so deeply and sacrificed so much for me, and I would not be who I am with today without them. Um, love you guys so much, and um, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity, so thank you. My name is Amanda Chen, and I'm from San Jose, California. Um, first, I would like to thank my mom for embodying joy and kindness. Simply put, when I think of what it means to be a good person, I think of my mom right over there. <laughs> so 
Second, I'd like to thank my dad for modeling to me intellectual curiosity in its purest form. English isn't his first language, but basically what that means is that there's an intrinsic value to learning, and he's modeled that to me my whole life. Um, I'd also like to thank my mentors for nurturing my passions both in and out of medicine. And finally, I'd like to thank my older sister for always reminding me that no dream is too big to dream. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is Amy Lynn and I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. It's such a humbling experience to be able to stand here and to be able to share this experience with so many of my future classmates in this room. First, I would like to thank my friends and my mentors because they have touched my lives in ways that they could have never known. Secondly, I'd like to thank my mom and dad who are here with me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for leaving your home country with nothing in your pockets and coming to this land to give me and my brothers a better future. And we hope to give back to you one day for all the sacrifices you've given to us. I'd also like to thank my brothers who are not here with me today, but are either on Zoom or hopefully will watch the recording. To my older brothers, Stephen and Hal, thank you for being my absolute inspirations. You all make me the luckiest sister in the world. Why, Neiman? Hi, everyone. I'm Brendan Choi. I'm from Queens, New York. And first, I'd like to thank my parents. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Thank you for being there, always. From the beginning until two minutes before the white coat ceremony when you gave me your extra paper towel so I wasn't sitting there drenched. Baba, mama, oye, And I'd also like to thank uh, my mancha lab from Colombia, my friends from New York. Um, and finally, to the class of 26, as you see today, we already went through some ups and downs. <laughs> and I can't wait to take on the rest with you guys. Hi everyone, my name is Zi Lin. I was born in China and grew up in New York City. Um, I would like to start by saying that I'm incredibly humbled, honored, and grateful to be here today, to be a part of this amazing community. Um, this would not have been possible without the unconditional love and support uh, from my family who are sitting up there. I would especially like to give a big shout out to my mom, aunt, and sister, Min. Uh, I love you all so, so much. Um, <laughs> I also want to thank my incredible mentors, uh, Megan and Mimi, uh, as well as all my amazing friends uh, for their support over the years. Um, to my relatives watching from the other side of the world, uh, thank you all. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, no, it's not good. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. I just started getting really comfortable in this, so I don't want to take it off again. 
fun. Hi, everyone. My name is Amy Vo. I am from New York City. I'd like to take this opportunity to first thank my family that came all the way from New York City this morning. They woke up at 6 in the morning to drive all the way over here. And I'd really like to thank my family, my, my parents, my grandma, my siblings, Alice, Henry, and Gordon. We grew up in a shoebox-sized New York City apartment, so it was really tough, but we made it. And I'd really like to thank my life partner, Raymond. There's no one else I would have loved to grow together these last eight years with and many more to come. Um, I'd love to thank my amazing, incredible friends, especially Emily and Cheryl, if you're watching. I know we switched Zoom so many times. And I'd love to thank my mentors for without their guidance, I would not be standing here today. And before I go, um, my mom doesn't speak a lot of English, so she's been waiting for hours for this. But, mommy. Okay. I love you. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Herod. I'm from San Clemente, California. First, I'd like to thank my family, friends, and mentors for shaping and molding me into who I am today. To my dad, who left me a legacy of trying to be a little bit better each day, and I hope that he knows that I really am trying to do my best. Uh, to my mom, who taught and showed me how to persevere through adversity, and especially to my wife, Madeline, who, um, for her encouragement, for her support, and for her sacrifice, I couldn't have done it without her, and I definitely don't want to do it without her. Thanks. It's like giving a lecture or something. Uh, hi folks, I'm Ben uh, from Pittsburgh in Maryland. Um, so much appreciation for so many folks. Oh, I should take this off. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, so much appreciation for so many folks. Uh, first off, no offense, but to the best parents ever. Uh, thank you. Um, and also uh, my amazing sister and my grandparents, um, Grandma Margaret, Grandpa Jim, uh, Granny Grace, and Grandpa Bob. Uh, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Also, um, the love of my life, Catherine Hendry, uh, and my best friend and forever inspiration, uh, Francisco Reyes. Uh, and then also um, to some spectacular mentors, um, Dr. Fitting, um, Dr. Fry, and the illustrious Prof uh, Sanford. So uh, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I, I love you all. My name is Megan, and I'm from the beautiful islands of Yap and Guam. Yeah! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> um, I have so many people to thank, and I would like to thank God for all of the strength and peace that he's given me when I've needed it the most. I would also like to thank my wonderful parents who are watching on Zoom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Um, they couldn't be here today because they live on Guam. Um, <laughs> But thank you so much for all the sacrifice. You've sacrificed all that you knew when you first moved to Guam, and you've continued to sacrifice 
almost all that you've had so that I could be here today. So thank you for that. Um, I would also like to thank my siblings, Jordan and Abby, for teaching me what it means to be kind, not only to others, but also to myself. I'd also like to thank my Aunt Helen for driving all this way. She drove eight hours this morning. She's over there in the back. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you for making my time here feel more like home. Um, and I would also like to thank all the friends and mentors I've had for all of the laughter that you shared with me. And I would also like to thank my partner, Ian, for being my rock and my safe place and my best friend. And thank you all, and I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Christine Kim. I'm from oops, uh, Cerritos, California. Um, first, I want to say thank you to the Lord. I know that my accomplishments are not from my strength alone. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't expect to be crying, but um, I want to say thank you to my oma and appa. Um, oh, I usually don't cry. <laughs> um, thank you for all your unconditional love and sacrifice. Um, for driving me all across the country for my tournaments, for working like seven days a week um, to provide for us. Oh, <laughs> I hate crying. Um, thank you to my Anni for being the best older sister I could ask for. I, um, she buys me like way too much food and like read all my secondaries for me. I promise I'll give you my second paycheck as an attending. I promised dad the first one. He didn't want my resident paycheck, he wanted my attending one. Um, and thank you to my baby sister, Caitlin, for keeping me young with her Gen Z energy. Um, to Colin, thank you for making Boston feel like home. To my church community, my friends, my teammates, and my coaches, thank you for your encouragement and for teaching me grit. Um, I wouldn't be able to stand here without you all, so thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Megan Akamaneni and I'm from Lockport, Illinois. First, I want to start by thanking my family, starting with both my tatas and Nainama, who are here with me today, all the way from India. Then, um, Nana, I want to thank you for always teaching me to believe in myself, even when I'm scared. Amma, my biggest supporter and my biggest role model, Thank you for short showing me how to pour my heart and soul into something I love, the way you did with raising my sister and me. You're my biggest inspiration. To my little sister, Burankai, my constant ray of sunshine, thank you, for thank you for reminding me to always stay excited. And finally, to my best friends, you have made me a better and kinder person. I don't know who I would be without all of you, and I love you so much. Thank you. My name's Hannah Erdogan. I'm from Yardley, Pennsylvania. Um, first of all, I want to mention my amazing, amazing family who's right there. <laughs> They're the most incredible people in the world. They make me laugh every single day, whether I'm at home or at school. Um, my sister Lily, my brother Noah, my dad, and my mom. Mom, thank you for being the best role model in the world, for sacrificing so much and making sure I believe in myself and don't give up on my dream. 
I want to thank my friends for such a good support system through this tough journey to get here. And I also want to mention my late paternal grandparents who were physicians in Turkey and the US um, who would have been so proud to see this moment and also my maternal grandparents who are watching or will be watching from home who are the most loving people ever. Um, I love you all and thank you. Hi everyone, um, I am Catherine. I am very proud to call very many places home over the past few years of my life, all of my life. Um, and those include Singapore, Cincinnati, Ohio, Providence, Rhode Island, and Boston, Massachusetts. So I'm very happy to be here today. Um, the first thing I wanna do is thank my family who are right up here. Um, <laughs> Thank you to mom and dad for always being unconditionally supportive to me, always and forever, um, even anticipating needs that I did not think I needed myself. Um, I also want to thank my brother right here for being the same type of weird that I am and understanding. Um, I would also like to thank my partner Nate for always being a believer in me, even when I don't think so myself. Um, I'd love to thank my friends in all walks of my life who have been there for um, a shoulder to lean on and um, just a great support system. And I would also love to thank my mentors throughout um, many different spots in my life um, in the Barrow Neurological Institute, at the MGH Center for Women's Mental Health, um, at Brown University, so on and so forth. You know who you are, thank you so much. And um, to the class of 2026, um, you've taught me a lot in the past week about what it means to be feeling and experiencing multiple contrasting emotions at the same time. I think we can all say that we've been tired and excited at the same time. Um, we've been apprehensive or uncertain and also committed and driven to our goals. So thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to um, spending the next four years with you. everyone. Hello, my name is Divya, and I've been lucky enough to call Tucson, Arizona, and New York City my home. As you all know, it is the opportunity of a lifetime to be standing here, and I owe the honor completely to my mother. Mom, <laughs> this white coat symbolizes all your resilience and sacrifice, and I promise to embody those values every minute I wear it. And to my Ayan Tata, thank you for sacrificing so much and giving so much so I could dream big. And to my Nandu Chiti, your courage in the face of ALS has taught me to teach a treat every single day as a gift and, why I'm, and reminded me why I'm on this path. And to my loving partner and best friend, Ben, thank you for being my rock and the light of my life through this entire journey. I hope you'll one day help me with my student loans. <laughs> <laughs> and to all my amazing friends, mentors and teachers, you brought out the best in me and that's what made this possible. Thank you. Hello, my name is William Amon Callison, and I am from Denver, Colorado. Uh, first, I would like to thank this storm for lowering the temperature a little bit and also showing us that sometimes all you need is resilience, a little bit of creativity, and community. It's an honor to be here amongst 
everyone and my fellow classmates. I'd like to start by thanking my many mentors, especially Daniel Lieberman, for their support and for their enthusiasm and guidance. Next, uh, I'd like to thank my partner, Liza. Uh, the next four years are gonna be quite the adventure and I'm really glad to share them with you. I'd like to thank my friends and my family. You are my strength. To my brothers, James and Rory, I love you. You keep me real. And finally, to my parents, Bill and Maureen, uh, I love you. <laughs> I love you, and I will always strive to make you proud both as a physician and as a person. Abu, and thank you. How's it going? So my name is Ryan Benavente. I'm from the island of Hawaii, so that's Oahu. <laughs> Represent. Um, I'd first like to say thank you so much to my parents. They're right there. They, they flew 10 hours to be here today, direct flight, nonstop, and so I really appreciate it. Dad, thank you so much for showing me how to be a good person and how to live my life every day and strive to be better and help other people. Mom, you are, I wouldn't be here at Harvard without you. You're the one who inspired me to apply. You're the one who, ever since you, know, you were younger, always worked hard to get our family um, and the Valero and the Benevente name out of poverty and to continue always working to improve the lives of your children. And to you, I'm forever grateful. To my girlfriend, also in the front, I love you very much. You're the light of my life. To my brother, Kevin, thank you so much for being an inspiration and paving the road for me to be here today. And um, one big shout out to all the Pacific Islanders in the class of 26. There is a total of three of us, I believe. But, you know, we represent strong. So thank you, thank you mahalo, I appreciate it. everyone, I'm Edmund from the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, as was alluded to earlier, on our first day here, we were given this beautiful quote um, that we are a superposition of everyone who loves us. And so to everyone who has loved me, my mentors, my friends, thank you so much for everything that you have given me, for putting your faith in me, for trusting me, for loving me, for loving this stupid, difficult, moody, timid kid through all the difficult times. I cannot tell you how much you mean to me. And to my family, Derek, Clara, thank you so much for your endless grace. Um, Dad, Papa, I carry you with me every single day of my life. I can feel your wings with every single step that I walk and hope that from where you are, you can rest assured that your little kid is turning out to be quite all right. And Mom, I think you're watching from Zoom, maybe from some car to the airport right now. You have to sleep. I, I love you ceaselessly. There's nothing more I can say than that. And to everything and everyone that I'm going to fall in love with during the course of these next four years, including this damn weather, um, <laughs> I really just can't wait to meet all of you. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, everyone. 안녕하세요. Um, my name is Hewan Redden. Oh, my mask. Sorry. I got too excited. <laughs> um, my name is Hewan Redden, and I was born in Seoul, South Korea. And I grew up in Little Rock, Arkansas, and then later University Place, Washington. And so um, it's so exciting to be standing here with a white coat and all of my classmates. Um, and so I'd just like to thank all of the friends, family, and mentors um, from all around the world who have um, joined me on this journey. Um, I hope to honor you all with this coat and to um, take the lessons that you've taught me. Sorry. <laughs> and honor the lessons that you taught me along the way. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't think I was going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> And thank you to my mom and my brother for up here, and then my family for always believing in me and showing me that I can do so much more. <laughs> and then to my little nephew, um, he's two years old, his name is Elias. <laughs> he's a little grumpy, as you can see. Um, I hope that with this white coat that I can uh, make the world a little bit better for you so you can chase bigger dreams and embark on um, even greater journeys. Sorry. I... <laughs> um, and then also to my future patients, um, thank you for the stories and memories that will undoubtedly make this day so much more memorable and precious. Um, 엄마, 오빠, 할머니, 할아버지, 그리고 모든 가족분들 um, 저를 항상 믿어주고 응원해줘서 너무 감사합니다. 아, 덕분에 여기까지 왔는데 아, 앞으로도 더큰 꿈을 꾸면서 그리고 um, 아, 앞으로 더큰 꿈을 꾸면서 세상을 치료해보도록 하겠습니다. 아, 많이 많이 사랑하고 너무 가, 감사합니다. But to my classmates, um, just this past week, I've just been so excited to meet you all, and I look forward to learning and growing alongside you. Thank you. My name is Donna Williams. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Thank you, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you sincerely to all my close friends, mentors, and family, uh, especially the ones here, here today, way up there in the corner. But also the ones watching at home, uh, either now or later on. I uh, truly wouldn't be here today if it weren't for you all, so thank you. And I'm incredibly excited to uh, see what the future holds. Everybody. Uh, my name is Arya Rao. It's great to meet you all. I am also from Michigan, so can I get a quick Michigan shout out? Yeah. <laughs> I'm from a little place called Big Rapids, and something we like to do in Michigan, we Michiganders like to use our hands for maps. It's right up here. My parents uh, are Konkani. It's a small community in India. And they immigrated to the United States almost 30 years ago with nothing in their pockets. And they came and they settled in little Big Rapids, Michigan. It's a rural little farming town. And they thought they were going to stay there for two years, maybe most. They were on visas as physicians that required them to practice in an underserved area. But they've been there almost 30 years now. Uh, kind of crazy how life takes you places you don't expect. And the reason they stayed there is because the community needed them, their patients needed them. They became family to people without it. So, 
for me to wear this white coat today is just the first step in becoming a bit like them. My mom is a pediatrician. She's sitting up right up there. And for those of you who can see her, you can tell we're definitely not related, right? <laughs> we look nothing alike. We, we look a lot alike for those who can't see her. Uh, and so when I'm at home in Big Rapids and I'm walking down the street and past you know, a soccer field and there are a lot of little kids playing, they'll run up to me and they'll say, Dr. Rao, Dr. Rao, Dr. Rao. That's possibly the greatest compliment I will ever receive. So if I can be even a little bit like her, a little bit like my dad, I'll consider that a success. Sorry, I know I'm taking a little while, but um, there are just so many people to thank. I have to say thank you to my friends, the best friends in the world, um, my mentors, uh, Marty Parties, uh, Dean Valentini, Dr. Stockwell, so many more that I'm forgetting right now, but thank you. To my family, my mama, ma, my aja, mama, pinna, Nate, Sean. Uh, um, and most importantly, now that I can get myself back together, uh, is the class of 2026. For me, the class of 2030, because I'm an MD, PhD student. <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming together this past week, for being resilient, for being creative, for inspiring me every day, and for throwing me the best 21st birthday party the other day that I could possibly imagine. <laughs> Our mother tongue, which is Konkani, uh, we, we say a blessing in, in, in uh, parting, which is this, Dev Tumka Bare Koro. May God bless everybody. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, Hi. Hello. <laughs> hey, that's my sister. Um, I think I'm the last one, so y'all made it. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to you. Um, uh, my name is Luana Montavanelli Machado. Um, I live in Methuen, Massachusetts, so very far away, a whole 30 minutes. But I was born in Brazil. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I've screamed. Um, okay, so um, whew, standing here today um, as a member of the class of 2026 in the medical school of Harvard, um, I just think about all of the mentors and the faculty and the teachers that got me here and the coaches, and all I have to say is thank you to them. Standing here as a first generation college graduate, First person in my family to ever graduate from even undergraduate at university. Um, I thank my extended family over here, my friends, um, especially shout out to Hannah, Jacqueline, and Adriana, um, who have supported me throughout the way. My beautiful sisters, Ashley and Alyssa, <laughs> um, who inspire me to want to be better and be a better version of myself every single day to my brilliant boyfriend, Alec, who has helped me break down every single barrier while also enduring my breakdowns, and many more to come. Um, and standing here as an immigrant at the number one university in the world, I thank my parents, Eloara and Agilio, who brought me here 10-ish years ago and who have supported me and loved me and sacrificed so much in this country for me to even be breathing in the same room as you. So I'm not gonna cry. Mãe, pai, muito obrigada pelo seu amor, pelo seu apoio e pelo seu sacrifício. Eu te amo demais. And thank you all for enduring today, so. <laughs> Oh, 
applause to everyone. And again, incredibly inspiring words. Uh, thank you for sharing yourselves with all of us. We were going to conclude the ceremony outside with the class oath, uh, which we will do here today with our very selected special medical and dental students. <laughs> And why do we do this? We take an oath as physicians, as doctors and dentists, uh, to make a promise uh, to our patients that we will care for them. What's very unique here is that we don't take a, an oath from a textbook, uh, but we go through a special process to arrive at an oath. And I'd like to invite Aria to tell you a little bit about the process and then to help lead the very select representatives of her class in the oath. Thank you so much, Dean Saldana. You guys thought you had enough of me, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you know, it took a long time for us to be here to be giving this oath to you all today. It's been a bit of a process. It's a hard thing to come up with an oath. I have to tell you, I, Dean Saldana asked me to, to give these remarks maybe five minutes before the, the ceremony started. So the first thing I have to tell you is this is entirely impromptu. But the best things are something that has had as much passion and work and thought put into it as this oath will speak for itself. So I'm not that nervous, eh, just a little bit, I guess. The question at heart is this, when you're making a pledge for the rest of your lives, what do you say? What's important? What do we as doctors hope to be 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, however many years we want to go on counting? What do we say to ourselves? And so I want to tell you the story of how this oath came to be, how the paragraphs on this page uh, represent us. I'm going to take you back just a couple of days ago to Monday, way back when. We're sitting in the tent. All of you know that experience. It's hot. It's sweaty. We don't want to be there. I mean, we want to be there. Uh, and the clock is ticking down. It's the end of our first school day, and we're ready to get out. Then Dr. Miller says up there, uh, our wonderful ITP course lead, if you're interested in being on the oath committee, please stay back. It's an important part of who this class is and who they'll continue to be. So an astounding number of folks stayed back, 30, 40, I think, a huge number out of our 160 or so piece class. And we signed up. We, this was our first act of service to ourselves as physicians and to our class and eventually to our patients in the way that we make this oath. That was Monday. Quickly organized, started a group chat, group me, not Discord, to many's chagrin. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday we had to start writing this thing because we had sort of heard rumors that this was going to be due on Wednesday. And how do you get 40 people together to write something when there are so many brilliant ideas, so many brilliant people, so much diversity? Well, that's what the group chat was for. So the minute the group chat was started, we had tons of ideas. Can we get something in another language? Can we uh, represent things in different ways? So much creativity abounded. And so when we got together uh, in the lounge of Vanderbilt Hall on the first floor, this historic place where medical students uh, who have become the most famous doctors of our time have lived for years and years and years, when we were sitting there gathered in the first floor lounge, writing this oath was actually easy. Put on a shared Google Doc, it got done in like two hours. We made little subcommittees because we're bureaucratic like that, and it got done. But that wasn't the end of it. We, as representatives of the class on the Oath Committee, then sent it out to our class for feedback because no doctor should ever act alone. It's a teamwork. Class loved it, which we were very grateful for because no more edits. And that was that, right? No. It's still Wednesday. We realize that in what we do, listening to an oath is, is not the only way to pledge yourselves to, to, to what you're doing, to your profession. Listening is just, is just as important as being, as seeing, uh, as being present. And so we don't only have a class oath. I, I think this, we may be the first class to do this. We have a class image. It was supposed to be presented up on the screen behind me. It was drawn by a, a fellow MD, PhD, or Anna Wadwa. Uh, and I, oh, is it sharing? Yes, there it is. Okay, yes. Yeah, this was done so quickly. She's brilliant. So if she's watching in the MD PhD room, MD PhD room, thank you, Anna. This is brilliant. 
It is a stencil outline of the first picture our class took together. All of us together in celebration. This is Wednesday. And also on Wednesday, Wednesday night, the Oath Committee leads met with Dr. Miller to go over our plans. We had some ambitious plans, as she knows. We, re we really uh, threw some stuff at her, but nothing happens alone and nothing happens without mentorship. So thank you, Dr. Miller, for tolerating us, for teaching us to grow, for making this what it is today. So we're at Wednesday. We're not at the end of the week yet. <laughs> then comes Thursday. The oath is written. The oath is finalized. And now is when the magic happens, the logistics are getting printed. So thank you to all the staff who made ITP and White Coat possible. And now we're here today. And we thought, OK, we're going to be outside together as a class reading this oath. And that's going to be that. It's going to be easy. But nothing is ever easy, especially in our profession. Resilience is key. There are going to be ups and downs. We as a class in particular, having had to deal with COVID throughout college in the later years, uh, are used to not being together. So making this pledge apart is really not so strange as one would think. It's kind of fitting. So I want to introduce this oath, this piece of paper with lots of paragraphs, lots of text, which means the world to all of us. And you'll hear the themes that we hope to, to pledge to ourselves, to our patients, to the world. Before we get into it, the last paragraph of this oath, I would like to ask our class not to read together. That may seem strange. That last paragraph is, in fact, an invitation to our class and to the whole room to speak the core promise of our oath, that we will walk together in unison. So wait for the last paragraph to be over, and then we'll repeat three times in whichever language you choose. We will walk together. All right? OK. I'd like to invite the Oath Committee down to read it with me. And there are plenty more folks who aren't here today, so let's give them a round of applause. Uh, is this okay? We can, yeah, we're good? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you were in the camera. You were in. Okay, sorry, I didn't realize I'm on the mic. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Okay. <laughs> this is so strange. Okay. You'd think we'd be good at Zoom by this point. No? All right. Okay, ready, guys? Yeah, okay. To our patients, we pledge to see you for who you are beyond your diagnosis, to build our relationship on a foundation of empathy and respect. We vow to create space to listen without judgment or bias and to be compassionate stewards of your care. We will learn from and walk alongside you through your journey. To ourselves, we promise to maintain a sense of joy wonder, and curiosity, to care for ourselves physically, mentally, and spiritually, to challenge our own beliefs and biases, to carry ourselves with humility and integrity, to forgive ourselves, to be ourselves, to love ourselves. To each other, we pledge to approach our mutual learning with open-mindedness and an appreciation for each other's distinct perspectives to support each other's wellness with compassion and empathy, to uplift each other, to never forget the joy of medicine, to hold each other accountable, to upholding the tenets of honesty and integrity in the practice of medicine. To the world, we promise to work towards building a trustworthy healthcare systems by acknowledging the ways in which our current systems have failed patients. We pledge to remain committed to making improvements to these institutions, Learning from history and those who came before us, we will address systems of oppression that exist at home and across the globe, affecting patients everywhere. We recognize the diversity of our communities, and we promise to respect their various cultures and identities and support their medical care. And finally, we promise to leave the world better than we found it and to never lose hope in our ability to make change. To all who we serve, our patients, ourselves, each other, and the world, 
We promise this. We will walk together. Hand in hand, we will walk towards a future in which healthcare is a human right, in which honesty and humility guide our every action, and in which our differences are a source of celebration, never division. In recognition and in celebration of the diversity of experiences which brought us here and will carry us forward, we will now repeat our core promise. We will walk together three times in whichever language speech most to your history and to your future. All right. We will walk together. We will walk together. We will walk together. Thank you so much. That concludes our white coat ceremony. Thank you for sticking around. There are some refreshments outside for you if you like. Congratulations to all. Thank you so much.